It's Collado Live on a Wednesday. I'm not Christian Harloff. I'm Josh McCuga, joined by the lovely Roxy Stryer with the... Is that a new bracelet you got on there? Oh, these are my friendship bracelets with my Grammy. Oh, that's Aww. nice. They say strength and everlasting. I have a funny grandma story uh, in a little bit, but but uh, we're also joined by Mark Riley, the producer, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. he's had an eventful last like seventy-two hours. Jesus, if you, will. you have no idea. He, <laughs> <laughs> Roxy just smelled her microphone. Oh. I I put oh. my nose to the microphone right before the show started, and and I did have a little bit of a retch kind of taste. Okay. I don't want to do my taste. It's like no, taste? No, tastes like you know how Don't like say the word taste. You know right when you now. walk in somewhere and you, like the <laughs> smell is so mean, so either good or bad that it hits your mouth. I, yes. I'm so angry with you right now. <laughs> I'm never breathing again. I'm stopping today. I'm done. <laughs> so done. So I done. walked into the room. Are you gonna? Today. Are you gonna hold your? Oh, breath? mine's fine. <laughs> mine's down? fine. It's Thank good. God. Okay. Th- this is so <sighs> bad. It. it, it Honestly, okay, here's the other thing. Go. Everybody in the comments, anytime I mention how bad the mic smells, they're like, stop smelling it. Do you know how close I have to be to <laughs> yeah. this mic? I literally have to be an inch away from this mic in order for it to pick me up. Hence why Josh always is putting it closer to my mouth. Yes. I don't want to smell the mic. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Literally not breathe? Le- legitimately, it's impossible not to smell these microphones because a lot of people, at least once a show, is like, why does it sound so tinny in there? Listen, we have a slight echo, so in order to try and reduce that echo we get our mouth as close to the microphone as possible it's an old radio trick it's what you're supposed to do when it's speaking a, into a microphone it's science it's it's science <laughs> I mean, there but, you go. but actually it's actually is happening it's aliens and shit aliens and shit we did it um, you think they're coming in shit. here and they're breathing on my mic and they're saying aliens suck it shit. dude yes. no but if they were, that would be the worst use of their time <laughs> in the history of aliens. <laughs> like, wow. No abductions. We just fuck with microphones. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about if, if they are here, what they're actually doing? Well, I'll tell you what they're probably doing is they're collecting together and becoming internet trolls because that seems to be more and more popular these days. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's the aliens. You have to t- oh, like own that. That's us as humans. Oh, you okay. can't pawn that off onto the aliens. Mm. We're doing that. Probably Our species. Right. Mm. This is mm-hmm. what we're doing to ourselves. It's mm. unbelievable when you think that you have the same genetic composition as somebody who's an actual troll. Yes. Like it's yeah. a legitimate troll. Yeah. A trolley troll. <laughs> Trolls Living the under name. a bridge. Yes. Like somewhere just has a trolley little look. When you guys think little of troll. trolls and you think of the bridge, do you guys have a bridge in mind? Because I have a bridge in mind. <laughs> yeah. I, like I, I have a visual bridge that I know where I, the troll lives. I didn't know until you said that, but yes, I have a bridge. <laughs> I have a bridge and it's like, in my mind, it's from a Stephen King book. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like... No, mine's like an actual bridge that I would go under as a kid and like mm-hmm. hunt for salamanders and crayfish. Oh, me too. Echo Bridge. There you go. Yeah, it's uh, in Massachusetts. I'm I would legit, imagine. They're in the bridge. That's where they live. <laughs> they're all there. Let's go get them. The, we're, we're here on Collider Live. Uh, this is our six-month anniversary, guys. We've been doing the show for nice. six months. We started August 20th. Today is February 20th. Thank you, Cody. Thank you so much. Can Cody, uh, congratulations. Alex was the one that reminded us of all this. So thank you guys for your hard work of six hey, months. <laughs> six months of Collider Live. Oh Man, I, I'll tell you what. The sound drop thing I did miss. This The last, basically a week ago today. I came into Collider Live and my hands started hurting. Yeah. Yeah. So you were sitting there a little quiet. This was mm-hmm. on air, mm-hmm. and you were still pushing through. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but you could tell something up. Yeah. Like something a little up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was the day that Jay Baruchel came in. Yeah. Yes. And I wasn't on that part of the interview, and I went and sat at my desk, and I was like, I, you know, when people tell you that you're having a heart attack, you get like the tinglys in your hands. Yes. Okay. Well, my one of my very, very good friends, her dad just had a heart attack, and I was like, "Am I having a heart attack?" You know, when somebody's in your life, something happens, you think everything is wrong. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. story of my life. <laughs> there you go. Yep. We're all just a large group of hypochondriacs, is what I'm saying. And so I started. I was like, "Something's wrong," and so I was like, I- "I'm going to go home." Yeah. Stopped at Ralph's, got a Gatorade, whatever. It took whatever. you a long time to say something, though. Were you nervous that if you said it out loud, it was going to be true? Because sometimes no. I get in my head, too, and I'm like, okay, if I say this out loud, then it's fact, and I yeah. can't let anybody know that I'm about to die. 100%. <laughs> yeah. You nailed that. Yes, okay, that's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. Because you were just sitting there quietly, and we were all, finally I said... Josh, you good? Like we're about, <laughs> we're about to do hypothetical questions, and you do not seem okay. No, I was. I'm like I'm, I couldn't get my he- head out of my hands, and so 
and everything started getting chill. And I thought, okay, maybe I hadn't eaten or there was something like my blood sugar was dripping or dipping or whatever. Right. Not dripping. Drip. I don't know. Like it I, I got a blood sugar drip. If it was <laughs> dripping, sick. that's a problem. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> it's real bad. It's my blood sugar sex magic. And, uh, <gasps> Did you do that for me? My favorite band of all time. Is the Red Hot Chili Peppers yeah, your you favorite didn't know band? That? That's no cool. Way. Oh, yeah. by far and away. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're a good band. They're the best. <laughs> This, I love that. Was that Chili Peppers Pepper song? That, no, no. Dude, no, but I've also seen them in concert 50,000 times, <laughs> but not the same. Third Eye, Third Eye Blind, Semi Charm Kind of Life, they played that at my college. They played it at my college. Oh, they played it at my wedding. Oh, yeah. They did play it at your wedding. <laughs> yes, and we did. went crazy, Cody. No, no. Ran towards they, the came, dance floor. they came and played it at my college. Oh, yeah. yeah. They came in the yard, in the courtyard. It was not like a venue. No. This was like a 50 person show. Six years ago, fifty people Maybe came to see Third Eye Blind. How uh, far they have fallen! It was so sad. <laughs> it was so depressing. I went to a fraternity party and OAR played, and then a year later they sold sold out Madison Square Garden. Uh, OAR is the best. <laughs> Who's that? OAR. OAR. Oh. OAR. Yeah, either know or you don't. It's an East Coast thing. I learned yeah, this. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. you don't you like. You guys have no. Sublime. Hey, Come with me and let, let yourself, yourself go. It's, go. You guys had Sublime and this? we had OAR and yeah. Dispatch. Those yeah. oh, were yeah. it was like East Coast West Guster. Coast battles. I mean Guster. Yes. Gus. Okay, you knew Gu- Guster. Oh, Guster. Guster was, great. was different yeah. though. Guster, Guster is amazing. Guster knew no limits. Speaking of a band I'd never heard before. I was I listened to this podcast called the Jay and Dan podcast. There are these two Canadian sports announcers. They were on FS1 for a year. They're incredible. People in the United States don't like to laugh about sports as much as the Canadians do. So they couldn't <laughs> huh, really get they couldn't really get the comedy of sports. Like they're making fun of my team. No, they're just trying to make a comedy sports show, and it just didn't work for the for American audience. But I followed them back to Canada. And my my dream scenario is to be a guest on their podcast because it's nice. it is. I feel like we can make this happen today. What's the hashtag? <laughs> a, oh. Mm, yeah. Just tag at Jay and Dan and be like, can you put Josh Makuga on your show? What's the show called? Makuga on Jay and Dan. Makuga on Jay and Dan. There you go. And tag them, please. Every and we're gonna single start this person now. right now. <laughs> yeah. Stop what you're doing. You're going to be on the show. I'm with Roxy <laughs> by also, the end of the day. Okay. Also, after you're finished telling this, don't forget I want to know about your heart attack. Oh, yeah. we got away we from got that. that. Yeah. <laughs> but there's this band, this Canadian band. They're called the Ark Hells. Okay, mm. and they sound, like R. Kelly. No, no, no. I know when they first said that, I was like, oh, that sounds a little. But Yikes. it's A A R A R. Say A R K E L S. The Arkells. Okay. Okay. Still having a tough time with it. I know. Me too. And I was like, R. Kelly. Like that's. Good. But there's their music sounds a lot like like a walk off the uh, walk the moon kind of a thing. But it's got it's like a rock. I don't know. It's really really good. If you guys want to check it out, it, it's awesome. But they sound a little like they started like an O A R or a Guster or a. Okay, so if you're comparing OAR to Guster, yes. I'm gonna like that. You're band. gonna yes. love OAR. Guster is one of my favorites. OAR is so they're so fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, it's one of those bands that you went to at um, an amphitheater, an outdoor. You had a little doobie. Yep. You hung with your friends in the lawn. Like they were the crazy summer gamer band. poker is like their oh, is their jam. It's so good. But I mean, like they they have a ton of like of very good songs. I've seen them outdoors. I saw them at a Vegas casino outdoors at like a pool at a Vegas casino. I saw them at a frat party. I saw them in a theater. I thought an arena, like I've seen them in a lot of different places. Um, <laughs> Number one OAR fan, <laughs> huge OAR. Where's fan. your tattoo, man? Yeah, Come right? on, uh, it goes like Journey OAR. No, it does. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pretty close to each I other. I praise. Yeah, I mean, listen, we went like full white dude music on that situation, oh, but yeah. I, I. And still, like we talked about the Grammys a couple weeks ago, I miss good rock and roll. So when I heard yeah. the Arkells, I was like, I like this band. It sounds like the rock and roll that I kind of like, which is why I kind of jumped on the bandwagon. And for whatever reason, I have like a weird love of Canadian culture. Like I love Canada. I love Toronto. I love Montreal. I love you Vancouver, You like to make Edmonton. fun of the culture? You like to no. a- You actually love the culture? Like Canada is an amazing country. I love mm-hmm. hockey. That's I love great. all the people from anybody that I've ever met from Canada. I've liked Me a too. lot. I don't oh, understand. Yeah. Why do we do this as Americans where we dump on Canadians? They're way better than They're us. They're awesome. Like infinitely cooler, Jealousy. kinder, but like healthier, all of the things. Look, yeah. at the, look at the one Canadian that brought comedy down here. Okay, besides all of the other geniuses, Aykroyd, Kids in the Hall, whatever. Lorne Michaels is Canadian. Right. He brought us Kids in the Hall and SNL. Yeah. SNL that's been on the air for over 40 plus years. The man is Canadian. A ton of genius. John Candy. 
Canadian. One of the best guests on the show ever, Jay Baruchel. Yep. Canadian. Canadian. There you go. Yeah. Um, so I, I love the Jay and Dan podcast. Uh, and so they introduced me to this band called Derek Hells. Let's circle back real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, to when I you were dying? To when I was dying. Mm -hmm. But real quick, uh, something that got me through dying was The Bachelor. And we have Ashley, I, and Jared coming on at the 11 o'clock hour. That's called a transition. That I love when they come. They're, like, they're great. They're, they're so fun. And also, remember last time they were here, they were giving me relationship advice. So I got to update them a yeah. little bit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and he's right. a Pats guy. And I'm sure she's like become a Pats fan now. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what happens when you marry into a, a, a sports fandom. Oh, you yeah. better believe whoever I end up with has to be part of the club. Well, that's oh. when you can't. When I first not. started dating, <laughs> you can't. You can't. Not. I, when you're a diehard, you can't. No. Yeah. You, can, yeah. you just can't. It's like when, when I married Amanda, she came home to Pittsburgh for the first time. This We obviously weren't married yet, but my mom was like, so, do you like sports? And then Amanda was like, ah, I mean, I grew up with sisters. We grew up in Northern California. So you're going to be a Steeler fan, right? But that's so much better. When you find somebody who's wishy-washy uh -huh. about the sports, you're like, I can do this. Yes. I can nail it. And I've seen, she posts all these great pictures now in her penguin shirt or whatever she's wearing. Yep. And I'm like, Josh did it. <laughs> He oh did yeah. It. yeah, it's really it's so much so fun much too. Steelers and Penn stuff. Yeah. Julie wasn't into football and and not into USC football of mm -hmm. all things. That's my big mm -hmm. one, right? So because she you wear the SC hat because can you tell? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it's weird. So, but we would w start watching football. I'm like, here we Nailed go. It. So just so you know, when when summer comes around, every Saturday I'm going to be busy. She's like, what, what do you mean? And I'm like, I'm just going to be busy. And she's like, can I see you? I'm like, of course, but I'm going to be watching the USC game. And she sat down and she watched everything, asked all these questions, and then became a diehard USC fan yes. because she loved the passion of me. I brought her to a game, two games, then she she's all in. There's now. nothing and like the USC that. tailgating, too. It's it, amazing. The whole experience. That's what got her. I mean, yes. let's be real How here. How could you not be a fan of that? But if you had met her and she had been like a diehard Stanford fan or whatever, then, then, you, then it would have been interesting. You have, you would have been a little bit interesting. I, I, I really, I know you guys love your USC tailgates and I've been to a bunch of USC tailgates and they're a lot of fun but you've like never, Penn State. I, never I did go to a Penn State I tailgate yeah. I mean the state it's a, college it's a different I mean you have 40,000 people and they're yeah, 50, and, and yeah. you're so in <laughs> Sorry, the middle sure of nowhere of course you're gonna do this of course Correct. it's gonna be epic in the backyard of the but Coliseum, it's, it's Hollywood. Yeah, right. You know, and it's and and also we're in South Central, so right. it's like <laughs> it's sometimes it's a little dicey walking around at sure. night. You were cold, and I didn't like that. Oh yeah. The rest of it's great, but like trying to do a keg stand when it's freezing uh -huh. out is really hard and slippery and icy. Well, the thing It'll is, the only up. the the only the last few tailgates, like the last two maybe, are cold. Right, it's mo from like uh, no. September to the yeah. end of October. It's no, warm. Yeah. no. October well, is cold. October is like it is right now in LA. Global warming. <laughs> it's, it's aliens not. and shit. Trump already said he wants it back. Where did it go, Josh? <laughs> so you're right. That's your right. Thank right. you. It's my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Nobody pays true. attention to me. I mean, the, and you can go to the SEC schools. You got like a Ole Miss. Their tailgate situation is incredible. Uh, Tennessee is absolutely bonkers. Indiana sure. uh, was Indiana is super when I was fun. There. I mean, all I those giant beat. schools. What do you got? Uh, you ever been to a Cal State Fullerton brunch? Whoa! <laughs> the baseball game? Cody. Have you? Let me they have mimosas, guys. Is it buffet style? It's breakfast with Hold on. mimosas. Real quick. This is, now, there's a question for you. And this kind of delegates on how we're going to feel about this situation. Is there an omelet guy? There's multiple omelet guys. Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's a goddamn Cal State Fullerton brunch, Josh. Waffle. Waffle station. Yeah. Oh! oh. Big time. It's a brunch. Big time. I am... That's, infinitely that's huge. more into pancakes and waffles, and they don't do pancake stations often. There's always the eggs in the waffle station. Pancakes are so much easier. Why? Uh -huh. Why can't we get a pancake guy? I think people like the security of the syrup hole in the <laughs> waffle. Oh, that's true. This is very that's true. true. Mm -hmm. It yeah. collects the syrup, collects. put it in each square. There's something Hopefully satisfying. There's some also, okay. global warming. <laughs> what the syrup hole? Mm -hmm. I don't uh, know about I think you're that. You're thinking of the ozone. Science. Science. Oh. And Great. there is a, a maple syrup mafia. I don't know if you guys ever watched that documentary, but it's very, very wow. interesting. Is wow. it called Riverdale? Because wow. that's pretty much what the show they, is they about They basically as well. stole the idea of the, of the uh, wow, the, uh, the maple syrup mafia from Quebec. They have a, there's legitimately a cartel of maple syrup. You love Canada. I do. I do. I'm telling you, if, I, if Canada was warm, I would move to Canada. 
Is it cold all the time? It's I've all never the been to Canada. No, you've never been? I've never been. You I lived went. in Massachusetts. I know. You it's like an eight-hour drive. I just never went. And it was crazy because the drinking age there was 18. So you uh-huh. think I would have wanted to. No, 19. 19. Mm-hmm. Oh, then I was already out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I could have gone out here. I don't know what I don't know what happened. I they, meant to keep going, and then you'd love Canada. I would Canada love is Canada. great. Yeah. yeah, I've been to Whistler. Oh. I've been to Whistler. Whistler. Oh, is, Whistler it's that's like, a skiing place. It's right? a ski town, and I love ski towns. I don't and do it's, that. It's why? No, no. You're you're dressed no, no. warm. You go to these no, no. great restaurants. You're walking around the town. It's a small town, small-ish. I love being drunk on a mountain okay. yeah. in a hot tub. Yeah. That's what you I, do there. I do that's not it. not go skiing. No, that's well, fine. fine. Listen, no, no. I'm going to Big Bear this weekend. A lot of the people I'm going with are skiing. Am I? No. No. Will I be hot tubbing? Yeah. Who okay. hurts themselves skiing? 100% of people. Yeah. <laughs> Literally 100% of people who it's ski true. at some point have hurt themselves, and I don't want to. There's a point, uh, there's a place on my right knee uh, that is will always be numb because I it hurt it skiing. I like I pinched I a nerve in my knee. I thought that was a car knee. accident place. No, that's my left knee. This is oh. the right knee. So they're yeah. both screwed. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I was skiing in Colorado okay. with my family. And a guy and I was doing the like the slope like this, and I'm like really young doing this, and a guy comes out of nowhere and hits me. And we go like 50 feet through the snow. I fracture my knee. When I when I woke up and went, what is going on? My dad is beating the guy with his ski pole <laughs> because he's like, you son of a bitch hurt my son. And I was That's like, amazing. I don't know what happened. It was like so a Jerry right. Springer episode and, on so, his ski anyone so I say right. this to, yeah. even if it's just yeah. a bruised tailbone, it, at seven, there's something. Yeah. Everybody yeah. at some point. And I just don't feel like it because I didn't learn as a kid and get the bruised tailbone out of the way. Yeah. I will hurt myself. So learning now isn't an option, which no. I totally understand. No. Because learning things late in life, especially skiing, when all your friends are like going fast, you're like, I want to oh, yeah. go fast. And then you really get hurt. Skiing is dangerous. So is snowboarding. And it's so, and I'm not saying it's frustrating. It's just dependent on the situation. But I took my ex once skiing, never skied in her life. Yep. And I'm pretty decent. And it was like, she was yelling at me because I was going too fast. So it became a really bad situation because I'm like, I just want to go down the slopes. I just want to keep going, but I want to help too and go, yeah, your form's good. It didn't last very long. Right. It was like 10 minutes. Well, and she's I gone. always say that the, the two things in life that I – and I've t- I told Amanda this when we first started dating. I said mm-hmm. the only two things I will never teach you to do, mm-hmm. I will never teach you to ski and I will never teach you to golf. You can go and take ski lessons and you can go and take golf lessons, but I cannot be a part of that. We know what we're good at, okay? Yeah. We're good at a lot of things together. But when it comes to me trying to teach her something, the patience level is donezo. There is nothing <laughs> – there is no – Point of there was a point of no return where I'm like you should just keep your head down and swing swing natural. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, and that's where it goes. Same with skiing. It's like I I, I want to have the patience to teach her, but then we start yelling at each other, and that's it's like why we don't go over five hours in the car. Once we hit five hours, we've reached our limit. When Ben and I started dating, he plays guitar mm-hmm. very well, and I was like, oh great. <laughs> I was like, great. I want to learn to play guitar. Sure. So you'll just teach me. Done. Mm-hmm. We got through one session yeah. yeah and then we were like okay yeah better luck next time 100%. like i i would rather hire somebody yeah. and pay the money than that kind of it was it just when somebody that you love is so much better at something than you mm-hmm. it you don't want to analyze it's that for too long it's so frustrating yep. and like yeah i get it you just you just want to sock them in the face yes like yeah. uh, no matter what it is, if it's your, if it's a sibling, if it's your significant other, like you just want to punch them, unless it's a stranger, yes. and then they can teach you. Sure. Yeah, you can just find one of those flyers at Runyon Canyon guitar lessons and just grab that little tab. I need that. And then there you go. It, it's it's always to me it's it's mind bottling what people parents can homeschool their children mm-hmm. because listen, my mom and dad were both educators. They both were teachers. Mm-hmm. There was no possible way in this world that they could have homeschooled my brother and I and it would have been a success because about 10 minutes into every class, Ben would have stabbed me with a pencil <laughs> or I would have punched him. Like there is <laughs> <laughs> we, that's sibling siblings learning together. There was a reason why the school worst. like school separates kids and, and, and children and all that kind of stuff because brothers and sisters should not be forced to sit in a kitchen and learn from their parents. That is what dinner is for. And that's when the yelling starts. It's like, did you do your homework? 
homework? No. Get out and do your homework. Like, that's what parenting yeah. is. It is yeah. such a wild choice to decide to spend more time with your kids during the day. <laughs> yes. Like, that is something that I cannot. I, by the way, my uncle and my aunt homeschool. For three, free, by the way. For free. My uncle and my aunt homeschooled their three kids. One of my close friends out here was homeschooled as well. You yeah. guys know DJ Waldridge. She's oh, also yeah. in the space. He was homeschooled. Okay. I, I am friends with people who were homeschooled. I get it. But I. As a parent, I I'm not a parent, but if I was, <laughs> yeah. as a parent, to, 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 to <laughs> as a parent to no one, and probably never to elect <laughs> to do that, uh-huh. like you got to be some kind of different saint, yep. yeah. because to, to want to spend more time with the the people that drive you so insane, yes. like why 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 what are you doing why my, like I I see, my brother has three kids right. Every day I wake up and like, ah! okay, I don't have three kids, yeah. right? Because I love my nieces and nephew. I think they're made correct. <laughs> Dude, I sent that to so many people. Uh, that, so that thing. But like as, as a parent of three children, you are putting yourself behind the eight ball every single day. It is a lot of work to raise three kids. Then I see people with yeah. four and five. One of my best friends from home is in my wedding, just had triplets. He's got four, like four kids, two sons, two daughters. Three of them are triplets. They're all under the age of three. It is, I mean, every day must be this impossible. Is it's, this, this is it's, us. This is us. It's, this is us. Cody, by the way, number uh, one, how freaked out are you by this conversation? Number two, <laughs> any chance you homeschool your kid? Uh, I'm having so much fun just listening to these guys. I'm not stressed out at all. And no, I'm not going to homeschool my kid. Smart. It's smart. It's smart. I remember when uh, my dad, because my dad went to Catholic school all growing up, right? And my mom and dad, I can remember this. I think I was like in, because CCD started for Catholics, right? It was kind of like your Hebrew school, right? CCD was basically. What, he- Christian, Catholic, I don't school. know. We called it the Central City Dump. Oh. CCD, but it was Central City. Oh my god! It's like, yeah, it's like, like Catholic DC Christian Comics. Development. I don't know something like that. But okay. you, you had to go on Wednesday nights, right? You had Sunday school when you were little, and then once you got into regular school, right around like first or second grade, you had to go on Wednesday nights to CCD. That was my night, which to this day is why I hate Wednesdays. Like today is my Jeez. most hated day of the week. But it's I wake day. up on on Wednesday and I'm thinking, do I have to go to CCD tonight? No, I'm 36. Okay, <laughs> I don't have to do that. But I still. Yeah, you're Good, Josh. Like, you just, can, you know, yeah. religion scarred me in a way that I don't think my parents had intended, mostly mm. because I was forced into this situation, right? Yeah. I think my brother took it in a way, and I felt like I was just being jammed into a religion hole, and I just didn't really... I don't do well with people forcing me into things. I think you've known me long enough yeah, to know that I don't I, like people forcing me to do shock. things. I would agree with that. Shock. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, CCD, you had, like, you had these these... A lot of the kids would, were going to Catholic school. They didn't have to do CCD. And my dad was like, well, if you don't want to do CCD, you can go to Catholic high school. And I hear my mom go, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> because oh, she God. got she got no. the shit beat out of her in Catholic school by nuns. And with so did my rulers? dad with the I've ruler. S- oh. Just all day long. And my mom was like, John, you don't want them to go to Catholic school. I don't want them to go to Catholic school. And this was the 80s, 90s. So it wasn't like they were still getting beat. But I think my parents still had PTSD yeah. of getting beat by nuns. And they weren't not getting beat in the 80s. <laughs> I mean, there, there still was a lot of rulers. I will say this. You, we went to the church where the school was for CCD at night, right? And we were taught by, you know, volunteers from the church or whatever. And they were, you know, they weren't like qualified instructors of education. But there was still... I could see like Sister Mary Hazel's room, and there was a stick yeah. hanging on the wall of what they used to whack children with. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what my da- my dad went to a Catholic high school. Yeah. He said this this is what they would do. He'd have to put out his hands and they would whap, yep. right? And then years later, he's like, "I want you to go to a Catholic high school, modern day." Yeah. And my mom did the same thing. Nat nope, nope, you're not going. You're not doing that. And I was like, "Thank God, yeah. I just want to go down the street where all my friends are going." <laughs> what do you guys think that we are doing today that? Our kids are going to be sitting around a table podcasting about, like, can you believe they did that back And they then? will be podcasting, mm. by the way. I'm I sure they will. Man, I don't know. I keep, like, we're, we don't have, we're, Amanda's not pregnant. That's a good question. We don't have any kids. I mean, we're, we're obviously talking about it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I always think to myself, like, what kind of a dad am I going to be? Am I going to be the disciplinarian dad or am I going to be the cool dad like Cody who's like, what's up, kids? You guys want to make a video with the wangers? <laughs> I think. I, I, I you, know Cody. the, the, the answer to that gosh, question. Good joke. Huh. Yeah. You're going to be the cool dad. <laughs> yeah, and but, Amanda, I could see being the uh, the disciplinarian. It depends it's going to be a, that way. See, right? It all depends if you have a girl or a boy. Right. You are not going to be the cool right. dad with the daughter. No. You are not. 
You I are tell, see, just not. I tell that to because Julie's been looking at me going, you're going to be such the pushover, mm-hmm. like lovey-dovey. And I'm like, is it a girl? Yeah. <laughs> and she's Because I'm like, at a certain age, that shit will change. Yeah. Like, Because I know. Because I'm already looking at my niece yeah. and going like, okay, what's your plan, Lynn? Right. My sister's <laughs> like, what's your plan for this? And she's like, don't worry. We got this. <laughs> right. I'm like, all right, all right. Yeah. If you've got a boy, you'll be like the cool guy uh-huh. asking to film with the wangers. <laughs> if, <laughs> yes. If not... Oh boy, strict, Baby wangers. strict Josh is coming out. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm not going to run my house with an iron fist, but I'm not, not going to try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and not the crappy iron fist, the one that re- reigned over communism for 40 years. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it happens very often. I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke, guys. It's a joke. I don't think it happens very often, but my parents definitely raised my brother and I this with the same like leniency level okay yeah which i thought was really cool and progressive of them Mm -hmm. uh now did i take advantage of that for show Mm -hmm. like really hardcore Mm -hmm. but by the time that like my sister had figured it out between the two of us siblings and seen how we did it she did it right okay and they were super duper yeah oh yeah that's how it is so you can be a little less strict with the girl strict but a little less than you're planning right now in your head yeah. yeah, I've got a lot of mathematics yeah. going on. Up like I'm down. seeing the wheels turning. Yeah. Uh, can well, you go back to your heart attack? Yeah, well, I was going to say, because my brain hasn't worked for about a week. So being here with you guys, yesterday I shot WGN Movies for America all day, and it was based on my first day out of the house uh, since last Wednesday. So a week ago today, I basically died. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And then was resurrected over a five-day period. So oh Wednesday... God was horrendous. Chills, shakes, was laying in bed under the covers, fully clothed with like a beanie on, hoodie, sweatpants, everything, couldn't eat, couldn't drink, couldn't do anything, right? Because... I, I think... I, flu. I thought it was... Sense of flu. I thought it was food poisoning at first because it yeah. like it hit so fast and I was like, this doesn't... Like, is this how the flu works? Because I haven't had the flu in so long and I got a flu shot. So that yeah. did nothing. Yeah. Um, you got there, a different strain. Uh, the flu yes. shots are only like... 60% effective or something crazy. Great. Like, I mean, I didn't pay for it because they just I, gave it to me. That's a random number, but I think it's 75 or under. Like, they're not 100% effective. Dr. Roxy in the house. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't get vaccinated. That's a joke. That's a joke. Oh, that's yeah, a joke. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shit. That's, Look at the chat. That's, oh, that's yeah. a joke and also a deal breaker for me. Like yeah. a straight up deal breaker. As far as parenting goes, oh, yeah. you're correct. Yes. yes. Uh, Cody's like, uh, I'm not, we're not doing that. <laughs> Um, true. That's also a joke, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Kids are being vaccinated. You can't be that person. No. <laughs> no. What, what am I, Jessica Alba? Um, is she the one? I Who's, no, Jenny McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. I think Jessica Alba is fine with it. No, no. I, it was one of the stars with a J for his name. Yeah. And I got it. It, it was there. Jenny McCarthy. McCarthy. So, um, Good for her. So Wednesday was brutal. And then I woke up Thursday, and I was legitimately like, okay, I really don't feel as bad. Maybe I'll try and go into Collider. And then I stood up and legitimately fainted. Oh, man. I hadn't, like, I, I, everything spun, and I haven't fainted in I don't know how long. But you yeah, have right. fainted before. I had fainted before. Thursday So you was, wake up on the floor and... And Amanda's like, oh, God. And oh, she, she saw you faint. Well, yeah, because she came home about five after hours after I came home. She did a full day of work on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And when she got home, she was like, nope, I'm done, too. She oh, got, wow. We got she sick got at the same time, just like six hours later. Yeah. So all these symptoms I had first, she was getting basically six hours later. So Thursday Jeez. was brutal all day. Then I tried to come in here for Collider Live on Friday. Like I was here for it, whatever. As soon, as soon as I got here for Collider Live, I was like, I should not be here. Oh, you tried. You, you, and you turned around and went home. Turned know. around, went you home. You drove here. Yes. You, you entered the building. Yes. Wow. And then yeah. you left. And left. No, no, I came. I was on Collider Live on. Oh, you were on Friday. Oh, yeah. I, I sat I here watched, for an hour. I watched it. Miserable. Oh, I okay. It. Yeah, and then I try. I was supposed to shoot uh, fake news, and I just I couldn't do it. I like yeah. couldn't concentrate, couldn't do anything. Went home. Friday became worse than Thursday. Oh, jeez. Like it because you pushed it. Because I pushed it. Wait, but you were you weren't in the page interview. No, I came. So I was here for the first hour, half hour. And then they did so the page interview. So you were here for 30 minutes, yeah. yeah. And um, <clears throat> so I didn't, yeah, I didn't take part in that, but that's fine because I don't know anything about wrestling and I didn't yeah. see the movie, but I do want to see the movie. Yeah. Me too. Um, Christian was supposed to take me, it's That's fine. true. I'm, I still haven't seen Creed 2 yet, so. And I'm, everybody's like, well, you can just go. And I'm like, that, that's, that's not, the, not point. the point. I'm holding out. It's as, not. Yeah, I'm waiting until he either gives me a DVD or something. Thanks, Cody. Just get a sign and wait outside his office. <laughs> just Creed to Okay, it. so that's Friday. Picture of Michael B. Jordan. Yep. So that's, so Friday was brutal. Yeah. And then that's when Amanda and I started calling it. It. 
Yeah. We were just like, if you feed it, it gets angry. Yeah. Right? I mean, it was a disaster. Were you, I'm sorry, this is vulgar, but yeah. pooping, both. puking, both. both of you, both. Uh, Wonderful. The, the puking stopped after like Thursday morning. You guys have two bathrooms, right? Yes. It, two beds, it, two bath. If you had one bathroom, would this have been a doable I situation? I would have moved. You I would have gone to a hotel room. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. Uh, vice versa. Yeah. 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 It's brutal. Um, it if was brutal. Both of you guys are sick. And then you, are you taking care of each other? Are you trying? We're tr- I'm, tr- I'm trying my best to take care of her because she got it way worse than I did. Really? Like, way, wow. way worse that than sucks. I did. sucks. I mean, mine was bad. If, well, it's because she already has so many stomach issues. Correct. So. Yeah. And so wow. she got it. She got it real bad. So then. You know what's good, though? It's actually kind of beneficial that you got it as well because otherwise I'm sure she would have been scared that she that something was, was like wrong oh, going yeah. on. So now she's like, all right, well, at We're least both it's toast. not. Yeah. yeah. So we woke up. So Friday was terrible. Friday night, we're like, let's have, well, let's, I'll just make some soup. Because we basically just been drinking like a little bit of broth, yeah, Gatorade, anything to drink. But everything was just going straight through us. I mean, it was a disaster, not to get gory details. So no. Saturday, I was like, I'm going to make like some plain rice. We'll have a couple saltines, like some crackers. Saturday was just pain. I mean, just painful. Oh, I started crying oh, at one man. point. Man. Because I was just in so much pain. Like, Actually I, crying. I, crying. You got it bad. Cry, I was crying in pain. I just, it could it wouldn't stop. Like, it just wouldn't stop. So sat, by Saturday night, Saturday afternoon, I was getting the cold sweats again really oh, bad. God. I tried to eat something, and that gave me, like, even more sweats, whatever. Sunday, I was like, I might have to call out of WG in America because I don't see this ending anytime soon. Oh my God. All of a what sudden. What happens if you have to call out? What do you do? They have to like reschedule an entire shoot. Yeah. Like, it's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, they put a lot of effort into those. Right? Yeah. It's a TV show. Yeah. So, <sighs> so around Sunday afternoon, I was like, you know what? I, I need to like eat something of something. Are you looking at the fact that I'm sweating? Because I'm sweating through the shirt. Oh, I thought you like looked down. I was like, I'm sweating. No, oh, I, no. I, 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 hot in here. Yeah. I went into a world where I had food poisoning on set once. I'll tell you guys yeah. that afterwards. Yeah. So sun, like Sunday evening, her and I both like saw the light of day. Oh wow! We both split a chicken noodle soup, and it stayed down. Nice. And then Sunday, I made like rice and eggs. Huh? <laughs> like, Yum. Like scrambled. Just, n- n- yeah, scrambled. Like one ingredient so it's food. Like fried rice. Yeah, just kind of like reintroducing a food product into our life <laughs> yeah. that isn't anything that could upset the stomach. Right? Well, they say brat, right? Brat diet, uh, bread, rice, apple, toast. Banana, rice, apple toast. Banana, rice, That's apple toast. That's what you're toast. supposed to. Well, we did have stomach. half a banana. And All of that... those were at the uh, Cal State Fullerton brunch, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the Goody, oh, beer, 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 beer. Well done. Come on. Uh, there it is. So by by yesterday, by by Monday afternoon, I was feeling like ninety percent. That's good. So it was like, I mean, dude, but that was rough. Yeah, I I sent you a text when I was out, and I'm like, because I saw something you tweeted. I'm like, how you doing? You're like, nah, no. I mean, just it got it got. Brutal. I thought it was getting better, and then it got way worse. worse. Yeah. It was like the eye of the storm hit, and I was like, I'll go in the collider. Like, <laughs> can you take me? Yeah, that's the worst. Brutal. Those, brutal. Th- th- those flus are brutal. the worst. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you. Food poisoning on set, and then on we're going to get into hand, some news now, before what the, the hell? hell? Chat. Yeah, so I, I know. It. They're like, what are we talking about here? I Everything. thought we were talking about Everything. Everything. We want to talk about being sick. We want to talk about food poisoning. We want to talk about global warming. I like st- all of it. <laughs> I straight Sorry. up still have <sighs> like flashbacks and nightmares about this. So I had just been hired uh, for my Leafly gig. So okay. Leafly, which is a tea can- company. Uh, tea company? Yeah, no, isn't Leafly? Cannabis. Oh, cannabis, cannabis company. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> uh, both green and. They were flying me around the country to go to extraction facilities and talk about how they were making concentrate. Mm. So I would go in, see what kind of extraction processes were safe, what was better than others, what was faster, what what, what was more efficient, what was uh, better for finances, whatever, all of that. And I was doing um, also they were doing like Alzheimer's research and what was good for specific ailments. And so I was so excited about this gig. I'm a huge cannabis supporter. And for the very first one. Uh, I think they flew me to either Colorado. Yeah, it was Colorado. Yeah. And I get there, and before we go to the shoot, they took us out the night before to this massive, like, steak dinner, whatever. That we Ruh-roh. Ruh-roh. Yeah. Um, here it comes. And so Ruh-roh. I eat it, I go to bed, <laughs> and I wake up at, like, 4 in the morning. We're supposed to start shooting at 7. And keep in mind, these people don't know me. This is the yeah. first time I've met anyone. It's the first day on set, and I wake up. 
nonstop violently sick. Like oh, God. I, it is so early. I can. I, it's. I'm like somebody else must be sick too. Nobody else got sick because oh, it's not like we were sharing food with each other. We don't right. know each other. So I texted. And I was like, I have really awful food poisoning and they were like what do you want us to do and i'm the only person on camera yeah, so and they've flown everybody there you know this is, oh. this is we're spending like we need hundreds of thousands of dollars on a here. shoot sure. and so i was like i'll do it i'll like i'll do it and i straight up like diaper status went in there like so ill it was oh, a 12 man. hour shoot and i was so in between every take puking. Mm. I couldn't even get the sound guy to get my mic pack off. So he was just like, I would sprint and puke in a bucket. Like it oh was, my God. and I'm also around all of this cannabis. Like it, I love cannabis, but the smell of skunk when you are that sick, Ooh. it was like, oh my God. <laughs> but I was like, I have to do this. I can't sure. waste production. So I, they'll fire me. And yeah. they, they were like, we would never do that. And I'm sure, I'm not talking about that specific company, but. It's so much money. One hundred percent. It's so much money. Yeah. Is there a video of this? Yeah. So I. So we video, can like watch knowing the behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah. Yeah. There Were is. You white with. I mean, I, I'm trying to think of which order they put it up, and I'll, I'll let you guys know for next time. Yeah. There, but it's one of the video, and, and there was a couple comments like, "Why isn't she? Why isn't she smoking as much as usual? Whatever, <laughs> like things like that." And I was like, I was legitimately dying. Yeah. Like, well, and everybody there... on set was so nice to me, and they were like, "You're such a trooper." Like, everybody really rallied around me, but it was it was brutal. Question for a cannabis user: yeah. then. Would there have been a strain that would have helped the stomach? Uh, so I thought so, but. It, it, cannabis definitely helps when you have a stomach ache, not uh, when you're yeah. currently puking. Got it. Like it was not. Makes sense. I couldn't even keep it anything. It was so bad. It wow. was it was the worst food. I've had food poisoning like three times. This was the worst. There was like no bigger fear than if you were shooting a show like that and then all of a sudden, you know. That, I feel that, like, like if what happened to me last week would have happened and I was on like a Travel Channel show or something like that. I don't yeah. know. It makes what you, you nervous to eat. Yes. And that sounds insane. But if I ever have a massive gig the day before, I'm so afraid to eat yeah. anything because of that situation where I'm like, what if this was. Well, nerves and anxiety affect the stomach. That's like a proven oh, fact. Yeah. So it, I always I always found it funny for comics because I don't get nervous before I get on stage, but I don't want to go up on stage with a full stomach. No. Like I want an empty stomach on there so that afterwards, it is like the pressure is off, everything's done, I can have my chicken fingers. And, and right. So I have a couple Jack Daniels, but I always found it funny of like comics backstage just eating a pizza. I'm like, well, you're going to poop your pants on stage. <laughs> yeah. Right? I just, I could never see it, I but like I get Ellis it. Eats before uh i mean like when we were in arizona yeah i guess he did eat but that was maybe like three and a half hours four hours before the show so you can't i mean uh, not yeah. like totally empty stomach mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. but yeah that, that kind of that totally makes sense well we're uh we're collider live today uh yeah. this is uh christian's coming in 11 uh jared haben ashley iconetti from the bachelor bachelorette are coming bachelor in paradise mm -hmm. are coming into studio at 11 as the only person watching the bachelor right now i have some questions but i'll probably get kicked wow. out of the studio for the interview so it happens <laughs> no, you should be in on that though. Okay. what is their current status they're married now Engaged. right or they're no, still they're engaged. engaged. Okay, they're, they're still getting... planning the wedding. Okay, okay. And they're uh, they're they wrote a new book together, a children's yes. book. So they're going to talk a little bit about oh, that. Dogs. I know. Yeah, it's cute. It's yeah, two dogs. I mean, Lewis come on. and Clark. I'm totally I into think it. Are the dogs or something like that. Something like that. They have capes. They have Lewis capes. and Clark. Yeah, like the That's explorers so... or Clark. Something wow. like that. Like I've, Lois and Clark. Uh, we but... should. I should probably know as part of promoting yeah. it. But <laughs> they'll come on and talk about it. Uh, I like that you flipped this as if it was going to be written on here. It's not on there. That's good. Who produces the show? Yeah, I don't know. Nope. So yeah. So. Uh, six months into Collider Live, uh, we have it's a full cool. memory package up there, a 17-minute highlight reel code. Do you want to throw that up there? Mm. Yeah, we don't we? have that today. Oh, we don't have that. Okay, Maybe great. Thanks. Who awesome. Hey, this Alex, show? <laughs> hey, Alex, could you put that in the time code, the 17-minute uh, teaser <laughs> uh, trailer for the Collider Live six-month anniversary There's show? There's no time code. <laughs> we have to reiterate right now. Alex, thank you for the yeah. time codes. It yeah. really, so uh, it really uh, stirred the hornet's nest. Alex working on his new song currently. I'm excited to hear it. Uh, yeah. The Marzonia, the, the, the man, the myth, the I legend. I like Alex likes OAR. Alex, OAR fan? Uh, I've only heard the one song, and I don't remember. I remember I was in uh, San Francisco in like an American Eagle hmm. in 2005, and hearing it. Wow, very specific. Song. 2005 I American to all Eagle. Their discography uh, now. Are yeah. You, is that a real story? <laughs> 
In 2005, I was in an American Eagle and I heard one of their songs, but I don't Are remember you it. It sounds like you do remember <laughs> yeah. it. Like you, you remember, remember it every other very minute detail except for the name of the OAR song you heard. Huh. Correct. Anyway, Correct. Correct. Yeah. should we do some news? Cool. Yeah, you want to do some news? Should we I, do some news? I do. Yeah. Yes. 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 Because we do have some news. We, do we do. Everybody, there's a bunch of people that saw Captain Marvel last night. Uh. And the reactions are in. Oh. We're positive. Oh, they're positive. I they're saw very Perry's positive. tweet. Good. Perry's saying, tweet was good. Saying good things about yeah, it. Yeah, but Perry's a girl, and this is a girl superhero, That's so, so like, true. obviously she's going to like it. So ah. yeah. Give me a dude's opinion, because that's all I care we about. Should. Oh, well, we then should. you're in luck, because Mike Ryan <laughs> oh. tweeted, Captain Marvel it isn't what I expected based on marketing. It's pretty much an all-in cosmic space movie. Also, it's a lot weirder than I expected. Ben Mendelsohn is awesome as Talos. Oh, A lot of Ben Mendelsohn. He was trying to. I saw. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that he was trending, and I was like, "Uh oh." Oh no! I <laughs> Bloodline that. season four. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's actually getting a lot of uh, notice. Oh. They're saying he's pretty good. Eric Davis, uh, Captain Marvel has great '90s sci-fi vibe with a tone unlike any other Marvel movie. Cool. It's retro and trippy, mysterious and dorky, funny, surprising. Uh, Eric Eisenberg giving you a lot of mails oh, uh, yeah. here. Captain Marvel is say, a blast. I was, just, I was just joking, ladies. I'm, I, that was a total joke. I oh, hope good. Everybody then, gets that. Then what? Anna Klassen says lots of fun Easter eggs in Captain Marvel that link it to the history and other films in the MCU. Watch closely. Some oh, people like talking that. about Brie Larson, but not as many tweets about Brie Larson as I would have thought. Yeah. And I mean, maybe that's just me overanalyzing I mean, the situation. Here's the thing: is like Brie Larson. I don't think I've ever seen her in a movie where she's not good. Yeah, she's great. So I don't think that her in this movie that everybody's be like, I didn't yeah, see it coming. Drew Brie Taylor Larson's good. says Brie Larson obviously rules, but Ben Mendelsohn is the surprise MVP. So mm. uh, maybe it's just so obvious that people aren't even. Yeah. I mean, Ben Mendelsohn in season one of Bloodline is incredible, and Ben Mendelsohn is just a very good actor. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Apparently, he doesn't have uh, t- <laughs> Twitter. No, why would he? He's like, you know, he's the classic British cool dude just out there smoking cigarettes drinking a pint with his buddies who needs Twitter when that's you're a I, sick actor doing all the sick stuff I would if, if I was Ben Mendelsohn I wouldn't have Twitter oh yeah I would I would get rid of Twitter well, why would I care? I, I'm, I'm, already I'm ready already to get yes. rid of Twitter it's yeah. just uh, I it's love a, Twitter I, I do love too. Twitter <laughs> I do too I'm a big Twitter fan everyone behind the scenes on Twitter like Jack suck I'll just say that you better listen what? Jack Jack yeah. kind Jack the guy Twitter you oh. better listen, Jack. Yeah. Oh, Jack. I thought you, you meant know what I mean? And Twitter yeah, and support. Yeah. I, Anyways, I, I, I that's agree another with story. I agree with that. Like, they don't take care of business like they should. They really I, I thought you were talking about down. Jack Hine, and I was like, wow. Whoa, oh, no, I, Jack Hine is great. I was, say, I, <laughs> <laughs> was that what that pause was? Yeah, you yeah. thought it was Jack? No, were, I know. You both. Listen, Jack. That's hysterical. So, <laughs> what? looked at you like, uh oh. When are you guys going to see Captain Marvel? Are you going to see the theater or are you going to screeners? March 4th. I'm going March 4th to Christian's taking me to the the premiere got it oh it's that's not the premiere awesome. then it's, it's the same night oh so the premiere is going to be over at dolby and then the press screenings over at arclight you want to tell everybody uh tell everybody what that you're cooler where, than we are no where the where the press screen is yeah but which arclight oh yeah there's a lot of arclights that's true. There's an arc like called Arc like Beach yeah. Cities. A lot of Dolby's. That's a great name for a place. Arc like Beach Cities. Yeah, that's the one I'm going to. I like Which that. Which one? Yeah. I don't and know. Where, I'm guessing that's in Redondo because that's where yeah. you know, like it South is. Bay kind of a situation. We beach the city. So, do you guys <laughs> now? Does this change your opinion? Like, I know you weren't really. You're, I mean, you want to see it, but you weren't like crazy about it. Does this change anything? Yeah. You know, the problem for me with a lot of the MCU now, mm-hmm. uh, at least where we are, is it just seems like a space opera. Okay. A lot of times, like we're just fighting space enemies. Yeah, you have issue with space, and this feels like all these tweets were like, "Yes, space." Space. So I, I could sense that you. Like every time they go into space, I'm just like, "All right, we're just on a green screen, right?" Like this, the entire thing is a green screen. We're just in a huge green screen cyclodome, and they are like running around rocks that were placed amongst a green screen. So it takes a lot of it away from me, and everybody's like, "Whoa, whoa." whoa. It just takes it away from me. I'm not, not satisfied until we film on Mars. <laughs> Correct. Duh. Uh, Global hello. warming. I just I I love practical effects. I like when they fight in the cities and everybody's like, "Well, that's all green screen too," which you're probably right. But at least it looks like a city in the America in America or the world or Wakanda. Or well, I guess that's green screen too. Who knows? But 
what I'm saying is that like a lot of the stuff that seems so green screened gets so saturated for me yeah. that it, and just like I'm not a giant fan. Does that take away the fact that I like Infinity War? No, I like Infinity War. There's some like very fun parts of Infinity War, mostly just like the fight when they're in grass. But mm. when they're fighting on the planets, I'm always like, how are we surviving on these planets? How do we know that the atmosphere is good enough for I, I, Like your brain kicks in correct. too much. I, I go too practical. It's like when they ruin a city in Avengers, I'm like, oh, man, the insurance on this alone is going to be bonkers. That's where my mind goes. And I know that I'm practical not the audience. Practical Josh, practical Josh, correct. practical Josh does what practical Josh does. I'm homeschooling my kids with Cody and the wangers. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, How are they doing it? I just don't know. <laughs> practical Josh, practical Josh. Wow. That's me. That's going to be a song. Yeah. Now. That's gonna I be a only song. like movies where I can. Listen, there's no CGI in Let's Be Cops. It's all practical, okay? There's no CGI in MacGruber. Well, there probably is, but. I, 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 practical Josh, where are they on a planet? Uh, How my, are they breathing? Practical Josh. Tony Stark doesn't seem like. like it's just humans going to an another planet that was owned by aliens and we have no idea what their atmosphere is like and where they get it. I guarantee you that if I worked at JPL and I was some practical physicist, physician, scientist, rocket man, mm -hmm. that's my official title, you're welcome, mm -hmm. okay, that Try I would to be like, that. there's no way that if they were in that galaxy, depending on where the star is and the gravitational pull, this would be, it just doesn't work. I don't like the space stuff. I really don't. I, I'm telling you. And the fact that that guy in the face in Avengers Infinity War that the way that they beat him was they punched a hole in the spaceship and he got sucked out into space. Yeah, that, that guy was, cool. was moving everything else. As soon as he gets sucked out, he's like, boom, boom. like there's points of the thing when they beat people. I'm like, had you not made him seem to be invincible before, it would have been a lot easier for me to believe that sucking him out of a spaceship was the way you got him. Well, How do you feel about that Princess Leia moment where she's out of the ship and then in moves forward. God, I love that. that. I, me too. I don't I really love know what you're so talking much. about, which is okay. why we're talking yeah. about yeah. The Last uh, Jedi. Uh, uh, cause, just because it's, uh, I feel like you would have a massive issue with that then. I'm sure you would. I <laughs> was really, really excited about these tweets. And you, you know I had kind of gone lukewarm on this yeah, movie. Yeah, But looking at these tweets, I'm like, okay, I'm back. I think that they didn't do a great job with marketing on this campaign. Yeah, this I, I don't, movie. I mean, I liked, I can't remember which like full trailer I liked it was I, the first or the second and then the second I was like oh, you know but now I'm excited I'm I'm really excited uh, obviously I think it was the second one that we loved but Maybe. it could have been the I first remember. or the um, eighth well here's the thing too is when you say the word Captain Marvel right to the layman fan which I talked about on fake news which you can see on Collider Video or Boom. Collider Video social media Boom. what was it is that Amanda was like they have a superhero named after the brand and I was yeah. like yeah huh. mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I didn't understand how to answer. She's like, why? And I was like, I don't know. And she said, is it to promote, is there a person that is there, are they a super comic book writer? And I said, no, it's a space girl whose head lights on fire. <laughs> and <laughs> that's a great way to. <laughs> and she said, okay, well, I like Brie Larson, so I guess I'll go see it. So for the common fan to see the term Captain Marvel, I don't think is. Well, it's not to promote the brand because didn't Marvel not even create Captain Marvel initially? Or am I mixing up with Shazam right now? Yeah, I, I think Shazam was Captain Marvel at one point. But yeah, that's, I know, I know we, Shazam we was Captain some... Marvel, but we they they purchased Captain Marvel from oh, what's that called? Hey guys, I'm in the chat right now. Who okay. knows this? Me. Because yeah, these are does. these are some uh, sweaty sorry. comic book stuff. Yeah, uh, you're that, talking yeah, to the wrong people. I, um, I I'm kind of the right person, but I'm in the wrong moment no, in yeah. my life. So. If you guys want if you guys want Steeler stats from the early '90s, I'm yeah. your guy. What but do you got? It's, well, Barry Foster is still to this day is you know single season Pittsburgh record holder for rushing yards in a season. Um, I mean, guys, yeah. we have some uh, breaking news oh. that I want to. Um, it has to do with Oscars. Oh, um, and I want to get your they take on this. They canceled it. <laughs> yeah. It's not, not going to happen. Bad. Strangely enough, um, they're just going to give an Academy Award to Infinity War and call it a day. How great is it living in our neighborhood this week? It's the best. There's not a lot of traffic at all. Yeah, it sucks. I know. Um, so they just announced who's the unique, and this is what's hysterical. They are calling it the unique talents who will be <laughs> introducing each Best Picture nominee on the, at the ceremony. So we've been this wondering. This is like the hosts of each thing, but you need Yeah, talents. it's like we don't know who's this hosting, is but Roma. Here's, here's who's coming in. And it's weird. I'm okay. going to put it right there Chef Jose Andres, okay. Dana Carvey, okay. Queen Latifah, okay. 
Congressman John Lewis. Okay. Who is that? Yeah. Diego Luna, great. Tom what? Morello, Mike Myers, okay. Trevor Noah, okay. uh, okay. Amanda Trevor S- Noah. Oh, I Amanda love Amanda Stenberg. Oh, she's Who? so good. She's a, a very up and coming. She had that uh, she superhero. Valley? No, no, no. She's um, young uh, African American woman who's gorgeous. Who was uh, in that movie this year about the superpowers. That was for like tweens. What what the, was the name of the movie? That oh, she was in the Hate You Give also. The Darkest Minds. That was the name of it. Okay, she's, so she's there. She's a rock star. She's gonna be the next big thing. Ready for okay. these last two? Barbara Streisand. <laughs> okay. Serena Williams. Okay. okay. <laughs> Who is Chef Jose Andres? I don't know. He's uh, Chef he- so Jose Andres is the guy that did the gastronomy at the SLS Hotel in LA. That's Chef is that, Jose is that Andres. True? Yeah, what? pretty sure. So that's some of the people. Um, I what love... is he? Is he on a TV show? Well, but mo- this is movie? about movies. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just curious. Is was he, he Ratatouille? They're really <laughs> they're really trying something different. I mean, I like these names. It's just it's I'm like up. Okay. I'm so confused about scroll what they're up, going honey. for. I listen. I understand that there are people that you want, but this is about movies. Well, uh, so I'm wondering who else a movie star. I wonder who else is showing up. Like what other actors and actresses? Trevor Noah be doing this? is the host of a comedy daily show about the government. He's not. I mean, I guess John Stewart was the host of the Oscars one year. Fine. So now Mike these guys Myers are movie stars. Is in Bohemian Rhapsody. I, I'm, that's what everybody's <laughs> I'm not saying, saying Mike now. Myers. He's, got, those, that's, he's a movie star. Yeah. So they're going to be saying, like, now everybody's Green guessing, Lakeith well, a movie star. who's going to be announcing which? And Mike Myers was in Bohemian Rhapsody. I bet he's announcing that one. Okay. Yeah. So, but how many best? These are. Is Barbara Streisand doing song? She'll probably be doing uh, Star is Born. Yeah. I bet she'll announce Star is Born. But this, she that's, that's, that's more Star people than there are nominees for Best Picture. So I'm guessing a couple of them are coming out together. Maybe. So Congressman yeah. John Lewis and Trevor Noah come out together, do a little repartee about politics. And probably then, Vice. And then introduce Vice. Yeah, that's probably what it's yeah. going to be. Yeah. But anyways, there's your news on that. It's still uh, John, ongoing. Congressman John Lewis. I wonder what I wonder what else they're going to drop before. I could have predicted before. that. Well, so so yeah. uh, I gotta uh, find Hieronym- gotta. Hieronymus Bailey came back on his thing, and now everything's going to get televised, right? That, I missed that while I was sick. I yeah. missed that episode er, while I was. Yeah, sick. now that everything's going to get televised. They're going to do, okay. I think, most of the best song because okay. at first it was just going to be like Black Panther and Stars Born, but they're 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 now trying to. I remember watching The Force Awakens was on uh, ABC, I think, on Sunday. It was just mm-hmm. on the background, and they're like, "Tune in Sunday, next Sunday, for the first time ever, Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga perform together again from Stars Born." <laughs> it's like they're really pushing that, you know. Sure. I don't understand why we don't do more. You know, I understand that oh. all the songs are cool, but let's do. Why don't we do a uh, like a mashup, like Glee? Remember where I you put all Glee. the songs together yeah. and you do all the Oscar songs in like a sick mashup of all the songs? Because then that way you can shorten the thing. And it's like, dude, how about how sick was that mashup? Lady Gaga comes out with Bradley Cooper, and then Kendrick Lamar comes out and does like a Black Panther, and they're all doing it together. It'd be they, better than the Super Bowl. They cannot. Find a host. You think yeah. they can do a mashup? <laughs> but they're doing. They're doing. And now I, I feel point. like John Lewis is the uh, civil rights leader that's uh, going to appear. So he's going to be announcing maybe Black Klansmen. Oh, Black Klansmen for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. So that's a get. That I like gotcha. that. Okay. And then I, you know, Barbara Streisand. Well, I get it. I'm not it. mad at this list. It's just, I'm not mad. It just it's is, just weird. Okay. It's a little. It's like a little. The unique okay. talents. It's just. Okay. It continues going into like what? What is okay. this show? So a buddy they are of mine. Unique talents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unique talents. <laughs> um, <laughs> there it is. So, so that's the Oscars. A buddy of mine uh, were, has worked at ABC forever, and he was one of those guys that started behind the scenes at the Oscars. I don't know exactly what – I know that he helps produce the Oscars okay, each year. And he said the amount of moving pieces that goes in the Oscars when it's just one host is insanity. Now that they don't have any host and there's not one person to like kind of push in and out to buy you time, mm-hmm. you have to you have to really coordinate all of these entrances. Producing live television, Thad, Thad will tell you – He's seen it firsthand. Producing live television with this many moving parts on a national stage in the biggest night of the year for Hollywood is very, very difficult. What did that do? Uh, he was he had produced a lot of live television back in the day. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's uh, the best. But it, without a host to like bide the time of like, yeah. hey, let's get this, you are just sending people into the lion's den. I mean, I listen, the, the casual TV audience will never see the guffaws and the hiccups that go Unless along with the Unless there's a massive one. Unless it's... Which there might be. Could happen. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Like there could just be dead air for quite a bit of <laughs> a time. While. Should we uh, should we talk the other yeah, news? Yeah, we got to talk this other news because okay. I'm glad because we have two TV talk people here. There you go. 
Um, yeah, now, baby. There was a report from Star that. Wars Newsnet, um, which is our friends there. We, we go to them a lot for Jedi Council and Rula 2. Cool. And they're saying that uh, there is an, that instead of an Obi-Wan movie, it's going to be an Obi-Wan Disney streaming service. Cool. Now, I was, like, wondering. Exactly. I was wondering, though, like, why not the movie? But then it makes sense. And then I started thinking about, well, Ewan McGregor, he's a movie star. But then I thought, wait a minute. He did Fargo. He did do Fargo, and he so was great in it. So this makes sense. <laughs> Um, would you watch an Obi Wan TV series or would you rather have a movie? Listen, I would. I'm in the minority, I guess, that I loved the Han Solo. I love Solo, a Star Wars story. I thought it was really well done. It was a fun friggin' movie. But the the Star Wars faithful are never going to be happy with anything. But if you give them more of an Obi Wan limited series, this kind of thing, mm -hmm. I would see the Star Wars faithful being a little more placated by this situation. I'm looking forward to seeing what The Mandalorian comes because if The Mandalorian really brings it, which I think that it will with all the talent behind it, uh, that I think the limited series for Obi-Wan could be fantastic. What's, what's interesting is initially when people were talking about them maybe doing an Obi-Wan movie, a lot of people said they would need more time. You know, just one movie they wouldn't be able to do. Maybe they would do an Obi-Wan trilogy. So doing possibly six episodes of this is like having... Eight. You want to do eight. I think eight is. I, I, eight. Think it's, oh, it I would want as many as I could I get said, for an Obi Wan thing. Uh, it could yeah, be as many they, six. they're they're okay. assuming six. Yeah, but I don't actually know. Right. I just read that off of the wall. So <laughs> maybe eight, whatever it is. It gives us a little more time with Obi Wan. I think it's pretty cool that they would do this, and it also shows that they're putting a lot into the streaming service. They're really investing in it. They're getting some huge, huge uh, pieces of IP. So. I think it would be great for them. That being said, I did always picture an Obi Wan movie on the big screen. Yeah, I've always wanted I, an Obi Wan I movie, that. and I think this is this the change. We talked about this on Rula Two. The latest one is up now. We'll probably talk about it on uh, Jedi Council. But like, what changed? It was Solo. So now we're thinking that they're pumping the brakes on all the spinoff movies. We'll get Episode Nine for sure. But then what happens after that? I'll take a limited series. I mean, they're doing Loki. They're going to do Cassie Andor, and they're doing, obviously, Mandalorian. Mandalorian yeah. mm -hmm. But that seems like a lot of series all at once. And the Vision one, too. Vision and Oh, yeah, Vision uh, and Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. Witch. I don't know, though, if any of the, like, Obi-Wan is mainstream. Yeah. This is a mainstream show yeah. that would drive people. I don't know if you hear Mandal Mandalorian and you are not a Star Wars fan, if you're like, got to get that app. Yeah, need that. Right. So, and even Loki is a little more so, I don't but like it's. It, it, <laughs> I don't. Valid, but I think that Obi Wan, like that is, yeah. that's their draw. Yeah. And maybe I don't know. Maybe they've been know. polling. Maybe they've been testing. I, I like the idea, but I didn't envision it now, this way. For you, Riley, here you're a Star Wars expert, host yeah. of Rula Two here Thank on you. Collider. You guys yeah. can check it out on the feeds. Sure. What. Would would the, would you want this to look like between the prequels and number four? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, that's what I want. I mean, I think the only story you have is that between Revenge of the Sith and New Hope when he's, quote unquote, looking over Luke. And what happens in that time? Does he stay on Tatooine or does he go somewhere else? Okay. Does what he, do you want? What do I want? Yeah. I mean, I think Obi-Wan would have left. I mean, I think there's a lot going on. Maybe something would call him away um, to help. Uh, I don't know, but you know, then I could see it being he never goes away from Tatooine. He only stays there to guard again to guard over Luke, and it's like a, a western, you know. And he deals with bounty hunters, and he deals with the scum and villainy. He deals with the huts. He deals with the sand people, what have you. And I would love to see maybe him get involved with Owen a little bit, who's watching after Luke, and they become like a buddy friendship kind of thing. That then later at the end of it, it's like. They kind of had a falling out. So later on in New Hope, um, Uncle Owen's like, Luke, no, stay away from him. He's just a crazy hermit. Because then you can connect can it that, that way. Yeah. yeah. So I like that. I mean, we'll see. I don't know how legit this is yet because I, I, I always want to make sure we get the news from Star Wars itself. But this makes a lot of sense. I like it. I, yeah. I mean, I listen, I'm, I'm excited about the Mandalorian thing. Yeah. I'm still on the fence of if I'm going to buy the Disney thing. I'm, I'm very... 
I, I just I, I don't think I get Clyder to flip the bill for the two of us and then we'll do reviews. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Uh, I'm going to legitimately go bankrupt. And again, not complaining, but with all the streaming services I have, they just need to start offering bundles within a cable package so that I can actually just like be like, all right, here's another dollar on my cable bill instead of here's nine more sign ins that I oh, I forgot my password for Disney. Is it the same as Hulu? Is my no, Hulu? but they needed an extra vowel. Nine? And what yeah, like, I have nine. I'm spending, I think, seventy five dollars right now on, on streaming, streaming service. It's ridiculous. We're getting toasted. Yeah, we're, I'm we're, getting we're getting I'm getting burnt. burnt. I'm not even toasted. No. I'm I am burnt to crisp. And speaking of getting burnt, you guys are gonna get burnt with love coming up here in the second hour Good of segment. Collider Live. We're gonna go to break. I'm Josh McCougar, Roxy Stryer, Mark Riley. On the other side, Jared Haven, Ashley I, and Christian Harloff will be getting back in this chair that I've kept warm for him for the last hour. Collider Live. Hello there. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council, what is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack, that's right, the pit boss himself, we have a guest on, and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, you games, and then we take questions one. from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope Hello it there. is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey, guys. Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com. And if you're a pro wrestling fan, which... I hope you are, even if it's in secret, then you should be checking out Wrestling Sheet Radio Weekly. Uh, we've got a bunch of shows in the podcast feed. We've got weekly recaps for myself and John Roca, which you guys will probably know from the Collider family. Uh, that's for Raw. That's for SmackDown. We've also got the weekly roundup of wrestling news. It's a show I host called Wrestling Sheet Radio with Jamie Iovine and Elijah Bates. And we've also got a bunch of other stuff in our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. So check it out. Subscribe. And I hope you guys dig it. Hey guys, Perry here to remind you to tune in for Collider Movie Talk every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 4 p.m. PT live. We are live. We talk about movies. We answer your live Twitter questions. It's so much fun. We talk about everything from box office to all your favorite superhero movies. We talk about horror on a good day for me. And who knows, maybe even a spoonerism will happen. I don't know. That's what happens when you watch Collider 2 v Mock, right? Are you going to watch? You better watch. Go watch now. What's up, Collider fans? If you are a fan of television and you want to watch a guy that looks like me and a guy named Thad Williams talk about TV every single Friday, subscribe to the Collider channel. Collider Podcast is where you can find the video. Uh, we have our own iTunes feed, hashtag at Collider TV Talk. You can find it on iTunes or wherever you find your podcast and you listen to them in your ear holes. That's where Collider TV Talk comes at you. We talk about TV news. We talk about shows we love, shows that we don't love. And most importantly, we don't read any books because... Because TV has nothing to do with reading. We also have a show called Hypothetical Questions with myself and Roxy Stryer and all kinds of reviews right here at the Collider Podcast channel and the Collider TV Talk feed. Subscribe, rate, like, tell your friends, tell all your friends to tell their friends. And before you know it, it's a pyramid scheme of television. I'm Josh McCuga. You can see Thad Williams and myself along with Roxy Stryer and all the Collider personalities all the time right here on Collider TV Talk. As always, put down the book, pick up the remote. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week I am joined by two guest critics of my choice and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun, it is infectious, it is the Citizen Kane 
of movie review shows, and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Dates himself. Check it out every Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, only on Collider Video. And, uh, Cody said, yeah. yeah, what do you need? And we're back. It is Collider Live, and I am not Roxy Stryer, Josh McCuga. I am Christian Harloff, and thank you guys for uh, manning the ship. Uh, I heard it went pretty well. What did you think of the first hour? It was great. I was doing another show, so I couldn't listen to it. Um, <laughs> I was on my friend uh, Steve Renazisi's show, and I, this is something I committed to a while ago, and it was great. So if you guys want to check that out, that'll be up uh, a little later. Steve Renazisi, what's the odds? Check that out. He's going to come on the show. It nice. You, you know Steve. Oh, yeah, nice yeah, Steve. yeah, Steve's yeah. going to come in. Good dude. And we are going to now be joined by Ashley and Jared. They're back. We missed you guys. Hey. Hi. How are you? We're wonderful. How are you guys doing? Thanks Fantastic. for having us back on. Yeah. We're doing good. So you, you, you let your fiance have the mic, will you? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I didn't know we were going to share. This is yeah. good. Oh, yeah. that's, that's what we right. did? That's go. what we decided? We didn't want to give them both no, the mic? No, this works. Not with them. They're too cute. Well, they share a bed. They can share a mic. Sharing yeah. is caring. Yeah, yeah, but I told, works. Oh, you missed it. What happened? You guys take a whiff of that mic and let me know how. Oh yeah, let is me, it, let me now know I'm terrified. Right. Who's got the better nose? Because my wife has a better nose. I do. Up. Oh, we talk about smell or look. Smell. Oh. oh. <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> a little, it's a little <laughs> stained. <laughs> <The better nose. laughs> uh, Jared has a really cute uh, nose. I do love I his nose, one. but like, if we had to pick which one our You've kids get, nose. it's probably me. You got a good nose. Yeah. All right. So who's got the better smell? As an Italian girl, too, that's a shocker. I know, right? I got so lucky. Oh, I also am. Twenty percent Jewish oh, right. too. Is that, so is, that's all natural. Yeah. Wow. I great. know people think it's fake, and I get so angry. Well, wow, it's a good nose. <laughs> so you, but you're, you're good with the smell test, though. It's fine, right? I mean, it smells a little stale, but <laughs> stale. But it, it, it doesn't it, smell like an asshole or it anything. Lo <laughs> well, it looks like it can knock <laughs> off. Enough. Well, there was an yeah. asshole talking to it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or a mass hole, if you will. Um, if everybody took that as an insult. I'm oh, okay you like with it. it. Um, you're not gonna smell it, Ashley. Smells fine to me. What? Yeah, what is bad. up with people? I don't know. Maybe it's just in your nose. Sleep in the hallway. Ma maybe, it's, maybe it's your breath. It's it's not my breath. <laughs> if it was my breath, I would smell it all the time. Yeah. Apparently, you do. Yeah. No, every time I'm sitting just there. right there. I don't know. Maybe, stale. maybe it reflects it. your stale. breath. I mean, it's stale. a little stale. I'm not going to say it smells bad. Yeah. I think they're just no, trying no, no. to be nice. Well, yeah, 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 listen. They are, uh, they are here for a, a myriad of different reasons. And one of those reasons. I was so close. I called it Lewis and Clark, and I know that's wrong. Those are the explorers. Well, no. Yeah, they, I, I didn't know. They, Lois. Look, these two have their, they have their hands in everything. Yeah. They're doing a lot of different things. And I saw this. You guys posted this on your Instagram. And it is a, a new children's book. It's Lucy and Clark. If you look right there. And I, the first thing I said, because I'm, I'm selfish, I wrote to Jared. He, he was talking about how, how much, how much is the book? Sixteen ninety five. Sixteen ninety five. And it is. It, and look. And the good thing about that book, it's funny because I read my kids' stories all the time. And there is a book. My, my daughter has a book. The thing is six pages. It's not even, yeah, maybe no five. Why even pay for that? Five pages. It's like ten dollars. I said this is bullshit, and it's got and it, and it doesn't have a full story like this. It doesn't have like it's just. Oh. It, yeah. This is like like legit the dedication stuff. Dedication page to their parents. Yeah. Right. This is this is what a kids so book should be. So effing cute. <laughs> yeah. This is what a kids book should be. Uh, so anyway, you guys decided to do this kids book. When when was when did this become a thing? Uh, in May, when we first came out about our relationship, a lot of publishers were coming up to us and asking us to write a book about our love story. And we're like, uh, we already did a 45 minute YouTube video. I think like we yeah. want it everything. Sounds a little obnoxious. Yeah, everything we want people to know is right there. Um, so then we started just joking. We're like, what if we did it through like a kid's book? And then uh, we put our dogs in the lead characters. And then we're like, wait a second, that's not really a bad idea. <laughs> right. So are they in a reality TV show good. at least? Two? Are they, uh, not yet. Not Clark yet. hasn't been casted as The Bachelor. We're giving him a couple more years, but and then they'll, they'll both be in paradise. <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, listen, we, we have so much to talk about with you guys today, too. And where can they get the book? So you can get it at lucyandclarkbook.com. Uh, it's selling right now. It's not on Amazon until late March. Okay. So if you want a copy right now, you go to lucyandclarkbook.com. Also, a portion of the proceeds go to a charity called Sidewalk Angels. Which what do is, they do? So Sidewalk Angels was founded by Rob Thomas. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Yes. But it was because we wanted to donate to an animal charity, and the first one came to mind. I was like, well, Rob Thomas has one, Sidewalk mm -hmm. Angels. And it they, they fund uh, non-kill shelters and help oh, find animals' great. homes. Great. Um, awesome. Uh, so, look, look at that. So, guys, once again, Lucy and Clark, go ahead and check that out. I know there's a lot of parents now, is that listen. shelter open at 3 a.m.? or is it 3 a.m. Well, they usually push They usually push the doors open, and then you enter into a real world. Oh, yeah, some yeah. of the dogs are sense. unwell. Am yeah. I supposed to be understanding what's happening? Absolutely. 
Rob Thomas. Thomas. It's Rob Thomas. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. and just to let everybody oh, know, I, it's not I just like lonely. oh, a children's <laughs> book about Ashley and Jared's love story. There's a lesson in it. It's about yeah. like the lessons that we needed to learn and overcome in order. Yeah, through love. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because as a kid, like I was always the kid at the playground that would just play by myself. Were I think that's really why big, I got. Or is this just something you've been saying on well, the book tour? No, I think honestly because I think that's. <laughs> Like Ashley always catches me talking to myself. I talk to myself nonstop, and I think they say I s- really intelligent people do that. By the way, well, not me. And homeless people. Yeah, they yeah. say really intelligent <laughs> people pick green, but I don't. I didn't pick the car. Okay. Got, got, meet the parents. Nothing. Uh, all right, <laughs> moving on from that. What is that? Uh, uh, what you, you got unleaded in there. And well, that's why I think honestly, my love for uh, science fiction came in because I just pictured myself and and as Superman, Star Wars, so on and so forth, and I would just imagine myself in those stories, and I would kind of play in the corner of the playground while everybody else was, you know, playing with each other and. That sounded bad, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Um, and so I wanted to cater that towards this book. And so the story is Clark is just a fearful dog who doesn't know any but the dog park. So he just doesn't say hi. He plays by himself. And then until this one day, Lucy comes up and he's like, wow, I really want to play fetch with that dog. But I'm he's not friends with open anybody. himself up. Yeah. Not be shy. You guys exactly. did it together, you though? Yeah. You guys yeah. Sat- uh, was that did not annoying? Get a ghost writer. Anyone who thinks we got a ghost writer is like, you don't think we can manage to write a children like well, some had, children's dialogue? Have people been saying you that? Went that to Syracuse. I saw a couple. I know I went to Syracuse. <laughs> 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 um, we actually had to dumb our writing down. You know, it's actually a challenge to be able well, to like write in a way that like kids talking to kids talk. being on their yeah. level. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when, yeah. When Josh and I and, and Mark were doing the first hour of the show, we were talking about how incredibly challenging it is to have to have somebody teach you something or to work with your partner like if they're trying to teach you guitar you want to punch your partner in the face right or whatever we were talking about skiing so I said when we first got together I said there's two things I will never teach you to do I'll never teach you to play golf and I'll never teach you to ski I know that like as a couple if we got into places we know what we're good at what we're bad at and like picking your battles right so the patience of teaching somebody what to do, but writing something together. Um, I can't yeah, imagine. Like, did yeah. you guys bicker the whole time, or were you guys just in it to win it? We did, were in it to win it. Yeah. The writing only took like two nights to do. I also think as soon wow. as we had the idea of writing it as a children's book in dog form, I think we both were on the same page of what the book was. So it was more so of just trying to how to execute it. Well, there because you I go. think we were both on the same page of what we wanted this book to be. Okay. Lucy and Clark, you guys can get it. Go and check that out. And uh, before we do, I think there was a. Uh, there's some kind of knock on the door. There was a delivery before. I, there's, 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 I don't don't know. get it stuck in my head. I don't know. There was, there's, is anybody there? I don't Hello? Know. I, I thought I heard something. Oh, oh it's hey. Ken Nansox. Hey. Mr. Hey. Delivery hey. Jones. Hey. Hey. Special hey. Delivery hey. Jones. Hey. Oh, uh, hello, I'm oh. Mr. McFeely. Uh, I've got a special delivery from you Mr. Do. Mark Riley. Mr. Mark Riley's yeah. got a special well, hey. delivery. Well, what's this? What do oh we have God. here? What do you got? What, what is, is this? It's, uh, okay. it's, uh, it was sent to Let's my uh, uh, Knapsack Files Afternoons P.O. Box. Roxy. 3727 West Magnolia Boulevard, Box 728, Burbank, <laughs> California, 91505. Roxy, can you call the action out there? You're right there. What's what's, what's happening now? What, Mark, what does okay. Mark Riley say? Mark is opening a package, and okay. this yeah, seems, Cody zoom in on his seems face. to be some writing. There's a note from John. There's a okay. note it's from about, what does it say? Uh, Cal. Okay. Um, no. Oh my God! What does it say? There's a beautiful drawing. Can we not do this right now? Oh, <laughs> honey, sh- What's it say, Mark? I, I don't know. That's I can't no, read just it. A, it's a picture. Uh, sorry. Hold on. It's okay. So uh, okay. He put the uh, poem that I wrote. Oh, that's oh, on that Cal. picture of Cal. Oh, that's awesome! Look at that. It's a G- give me the yeah, gentleman's thanks name. Thanks for again. making me cry again. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful, this John. Is, we gotta hey, frame this. Hey, Riley, I'm really sorry for your loss. I've owned two dogs in my life. They really get you through the tough times, and they can be your rock so when you good. need it most. When beautiful. I found you guys while uh, scanning YouTube back in 2014, wow, wow. Guy. I discovered that wow. all of you sharing anecdotes about your lives really helped me get through my own struggles. There have been times that something as simple as a smile is a struggle. You, Cal, Christian, Mark, Makuga, Ken, Christian, Cody, Roxy, Beardo, the Schmodown, Collider shows, even extending it out to the larger YouTube at Screen Junkies have been my Cal for the past five years. Oh, my God. Without going into the details here, I wouldn't know my girls if it wasn't for all of you. That may sound cryptic, but adulting is hard and life throws you curveballs. This one beamed me in the heart. And when I struggle to pick myself up, all of you are there. What you do matters. Thank you. Send my love to everyone and let them know more drawings are coming. Sincerely, John. Is that, from, is, that from the same, is that from the same John? Is that, is that, is that John Mar- Mariano? <coughs> I'm not sure. Let me see in the front there. Let me see. That drawing is so beautiful. 
Yeah. It's perfect. We yeah. Don't we don't know. Oh, yeah, it is. No, there it is. John, it is John, Mar- John Mariano. John Mariano has become um, a staple in the Schmodown uh, Collider universe, too. He's also responsible oh, for the that over there. He... Oh. He's a good. He's a good dude, and he's got his kids that into this uh, too. He wrote a very nice email the other day. He's and that was very nice. Was right, I see there are good. The there are good people out there, man. There are good people. There are good uh, people out there on the internet. You're making me cry. That. You got. So you go. got the eyes. Yeah. yeah. Cal had the best eyes. You know. There you go. Well, thank you, special delivery, uh, Jones. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, the Obi Wan thing is true. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, listen. I know. I heard you guys talked about that. I didn't get a chance to. And yeah, we wanted your uh, yeah, take. Yeah, now. Let's let's hear. So look. The, the news on the table is that it's reported that Obi Wan has been now taken into potentially being a streaming s- series. Yeah, yeah. Um, now the one part from what I hear is that it's I've heard this is that it's just in development. That it's possible that it's just in development. I, I know that we all know that there's been a script for this thing. The script has been out there. I wouldn't be surprised if they took that script, just pieced that out and started to make it a series. Whether or not it gets greenlit. I don't know. I think when the Mandalorian and um, Cassian Andor are successful, much bigger chance, much bigger chance for this thing going into full production. But as of right now, I don't see any announcement coming anytime soon. What do you think, Jared? Do you think there's a possibility to hear it coming soon? Uh, Yeah, I think it's kind of predicated on episode nine. Because I think they had a lot of Star Wars stories coming up, and then Solo flopped last year. Eight it was didn't a little. Flop. It was good. It, it was it okay. Flop. Money the box wise. office, money wise, yeah. it definitely flopped <laughs> yeah. for what in Star Wars. And then eight Josh obviously was mixed reviews. So I think Disney is kind of pushing it, off all projects to see what the reception is with nine to make sure that nine is very successful. People like it, nine? and people are on. Um, Let's go ahead. Keep going. <laughs> it's a sound Episode bite. nine. It's a sound bite. Oh, I was like, am I, am I not counting right? You're right. We you're right. We're just going to keep messing with you, but oh, you're right. Yeah. It'll, no. it's all right. It'll keep happening. Just feels like home. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking. I mean, they're definitely they're going to do something. They're not going to stop. I, I know the Ryan Johnson sequel trilogy is still apparently on, and they're going to make they were going to make a solo movie, and now they're going to make a solo. Uh, excuse me, a Obi Wan movie. Now it's going to be a television series. I think it's all predicated on nine. If nine's really good, they'll push this into production and they'll push out a TV series because people will be back on Star Wars. I think it's more. I mean, nine. I think we've we've talked about it a lot. Nine. Yes, number nine. I think we've talked about it on number Jedi nine. many yeah. times that. There's going to be a lot, and I like this, that there's going to be fan service. I think there's going to be so many things different from what we saw in 8. I think there's going to be a lot of different stuff that J.J. does. I think he's going to continue a lot of the stuff that he did from 7. Yes. Um, I don't necessarily think that Obi-Wan plays into the success of 9, because even though I just think it's a foregone conclusion that 9 is going to do well. It's going to do well at the box office, but so did Last Jedi. And I think people kind of felt... I, I don't think people are as excited as 9 because of The Last Jedi. And they're... If, if I think they're scared. Yeah, I of think, course I think it's more scared. I think that they are. I think if Ryan Johnson was doing nine, there'd be more of a um, a worry. What uh, are you guys' of, thoughts about seven? Because when Force Awakens first came out, everybody loved it. And I think over the years, it's gotten a worse rap as the years have really? gone on. So I feel the, I feel the opposite. I feel I feel because of how split. The fan base was with eight. That mm-hmm. seven's got a better rap. See, no, I, I feel the same way as you, Jared. See, really? I disagree yeah. because I feel like now there are people are making the argument that the Last Jedi was actually a better movie than the Force Awakens. Who's saying that? I, Me. I see. I see that all the time <laughs> online. Now, granted, this is Star Wars fans, so yeah. you know I'm going to Reddit and shit like that. Having said that, I think there are a lot of people are saying what you're saying nine could potentially be, which is well, seven wasn't its own movie. It was just a remake of A New Hope, and it was just fan service. And a lot of people now, I feel like, are going more towards The Last Jedi because they're like, well, at least The Last Jedi took a chance. So if I'm on a different is... planet than you are, and I think. Really? I'm, saying, I'm saying way different things. I'm saying, I, I, I see it's the It's all opposite. about your one timeline. That's what I'm realizing yeah. because I'll say all these reviews are positive. It's just the people that I'm following. Right. So the, you're obviously yeah. following different people, but my timeline's more similar to yours hmm. where I'm, I'm seeing that What do you see, Riley? Well, I'll say this. When we were getting close to The Last Jedi, I, I rewatched Force Awakens, put it out there on Twitter saying, oh, so excited because Force Awakens was so great and people loved it. Last Jedi, what, whatever, blah blah blah. I was shocked at how much Negativity. pushback I got. Hmm. Where there, I got a lot of the. It's just a remake of New Hope. I got a lot of the, the characters suck. There's no interesting. Disney's doing this wrong. It's like I was shocked. So I'm, I'm a little on Jared's point on so this. So it's a more of a Disney pushback, you guys would say, than anything. Maybe else. Maybe 
it's Disney. Maybe it's, uh, I mean, it is the narrative that we've been following along with right. a lot lately, which I don't like to push. But I think there are other detractors out there right. that don't like the sequel trilogy because it's Disney, maybe because George Lucas isn't involved or what have you. Um, but I think episode nine is going to be huge, right. and I think Obi Wan oh, is going to go forward any, it, no matter what. Oh, yeah. I, oh, you do think it's going to happen no matter what? Yes. I don't know. I don't know if Kathleen Kennedy uh, gets it. I, I think, think they're she gets scared. It. I yeah. think you guys are right. I think they're very scared, especially after what happened to Solo. Well, yeah, you're 100 percent right. Ashley, did you care at all? No. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I showed her. Bring back Hayden Christensen. <laughs> oh God, yes. 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 fucking go. Look at the same page. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. See, Nobody last, else gets it. That was the last time I cared Fernandez about Star does. Wars. I saw it four <laughs> times in theaters. The Re- Revenge of the Sith. Because you loved him. Yes. Wow. Do you Good. see what I have to deal with? No, 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 we're on the actual right. same so team you, here. Hayden right? got dragged a lot, and I'm glad to hear you like him. Do you like the, the movie same Shattered reasons, Glass? Though. Did you ever watch it? Uh, yeah, I watched his entire filmography. Wow. Oh, my life is a house. They, yes. uh, oh, life is a house. It's One of amazing. the most underrated. Life is a house. He's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I agreed. Right? Life is a house. Is when was the last good. time you saw that? I, I saw it years ago, see one that time. Again. Oh, I, I've watched that a lot. There you go. See, she wants to watch. See, what, what woke her up. Uh, seriously. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> did, did, you, did you both watch the reality show where the Christensen family competed in like I a outback type of situation? I couldn't. No, but now she wants to go and, and watch broke, it now. That broke my heart. Complete your fandom. No, that yeah. broke really? my heart. I couldn't check that out. It, just Wait. how far we had fallen. I have two <laughs> huge questions for you guys. The first, because. I don't want you to get in trouble because I know there's an embargo on Captain Marvel. Oh, yeah. But in Soundbite, what did you think? Oh, you saw it, both of you guys. No. no. He, saw he saw it, just on Soundbite. Um, she was watching reaction. Revenge of the Sith again. Yeah. Well, did, <laughs> no. you, was, did you tweet about it? I just tweeted, a, I said, I saw Captain Marvel and I tweeted a gift of just somebody like, hmm. Oh, it's a hmm. Okay. That's, that's my what initial was the majority? reaction. I didn't pay attention to a lot of the social. What, what was positive. the majority? Positive. Positive? Yeah, definitely Which positive. Which shocks me. Really? Because when I walked out of the theater, I felt that there was an overall vibe of the way I was feeling. Interesting. So then I went on Twitter. Was it one screening? Or all the people that are tweeting about it, they were all in the all same screening? All the people screening? that I, from, I follow. You, we're, you know, we're, at the screening you were, at, we're at the screening I was at. I see. Mm. Yeah. So We don't uh, see until next week yeah. or two weeks. I saw How to Train Your Dragon 3. I'll talk about that in a little I bit. I did, too. Oh. You better bring tissues. Oh, my God. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, Love you, Ken. Bye, Ken. Thanks, Ken. He did see in the afternoons. Yes, he did see part three. When did you see part three? Remember we interviewed the cast? He had seen part no, three? No, I didn't see three. I lost Cal that day, so I couldn't oh. go. I'm a bitch. I didn't see three. <laughs> I'm a lover. I'm a... Yeah. I saw Thanks three last for night. watching the show, <laughs> yeah. Roxy. I do. I'm the only one who watches every episode. You're fine. You're fine. It's not a big deal. sorry, I knew I'm going... I bought tickets because Julie is a huge fan of this we're going opening night because it's amazing yeah. it is going to be special there we've watched my plus both. one what last night oh i didn't no last night i couldn't go he oh, didn't want to yeah. go last night yeah, yeah, it's a special thing for him and julie to see too but yeah. um the main question the thing that that he wants to know i want to know and i have to ask you both and you got to be honest with me when in the fuck are we going to see that wall jump in the, the fence jump. it's going to be when not next week it's the week after all right because i'm getting because <laughs> they're, 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 they're teasing this wall jump and it is like an avenger jumped over the fucking thing because this guy <laughs> this guy to do that you know you've played sports you know it's, it's not easy to just leap it's over a wall quite impressive yeah. the way he did with that wall oh, yeah. my, my favorite tweet i was reading yesterday because I, I gotta be honest i i've hated this season so far really oh, look at ashley oh. ashley is ready this to season scrap. has been been <laughs> A subpar. We, wow. Subpar. Yeah. Wait a minute. You told me you love this season. No, I mean subpar as far he as lied. just like he like, like I'm yelling and no, no, I'm not. Listen, there's been some funny dramatic things, but there hasn't been like there hasn't been enough of like I want to see. Like we didn't need we need more demis. Yeah. We needed more demis. They just got like a bunch of Instagram models this year, which has been like the same for the last five years. But th- th- we got a bunch of girls that aren't fighting enough. They're just not fighting enough. And I yes, wanted they to are. see they're fighting. We I Kerpa know. was basically a yeah. like a, an a average. Plant. Yeah, she was yeah, a plant. Yeah, Kerpa. No offense to Kerpa, her character on the show sucked. But right. what, what? Correct. But like this past episode with all the levity that came with it, with because I like the idea. They that had, they kept never been kissed on for all all season, and her goodbye was like I don't know. Peace. Yeah, but I like right, so right. I'm I not going to lie. I don't watch, so fill me in on what you guys are yeah, talking about because yeah, this doesn't yeah, make yeah, any yeah. sense We don't to even me. know. People don't even know so, when I've got The Bachelor here. Pretty right. much, we're talking about this season of The Bachelor. There's a scene in the promo of Colton freaking out who's the lead. Right. right. Jumping, jumping over, over a, a wall. fence. Yeah. It was very impressive. Look at this wall jump. I mean, this is... 
gone. Boom. Like and so, f- like, do you guys know why he's doing it? We have an idea, oh. but we don't know exactly. Okay. Nobody who, truly who, knows because all these girls are trying to get him to take, who trying to take his virginity. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> Ashley, the fact that you know that this happens in two weeks and you guys kind of have an idea. Does production tell you guys this stuff, or you just no. like are all in the... no? Well, okay, Colton for some reason said that was going to happen this week. I don't know idea. Chris think... Harrison said what? it was going to happen. Oh, this Chris week Harrison. Week that was Chris on... Harrison said yeah. it was going to happen. Let me hear. Go ahead, guys, please. Okay, so Chris Harrison said the fence jump was going to happen this week, and I basically knew for like me knowing the storyline enough that it wasn't going to happen this week, and then of course didn't, and then Colton went on Twitter and said, "No, you guys have to wait two more weeks. So you have to wait for hometowns, and then you have to wait. It's the top." Three episode in which this happens. I love that this has become like a thing now. Like it's trying, like people want to watch this wall. The jump. best tweet was, "Who are you rooting for in the bachelor?" And somebody just wrote back, "The fence." Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> well, yeah. we're just uh, we're hoping that the wall jump is as built up as it should be. Right. Like I don't want it to be. Oh, I forgot my phone. Right, and, and that's the gotta, wall. And that's the fence jump. But I don't know because with the, with the way that he's been, uh, you know, he's he's really an emotional dude. He and is. He just kind of leaps over walls to for no reason. So, so I'm hoping that that this is a moment when he I jumps over the wall where it's like yeah. everything's falling apart. Right. I love the Chris scene Harris, with... Chris Harrison says that we will not be disappointed. The fence jump is actually as dramatic as they make it seem in the teaser. Okay. Right. And was, here's the thing: is like you had I, the best fight was between Miami, Crazy Miami, and uh, Onyeka. And Onyeka. Nicole and Onyeka. Yeah. Oh yeah. Which was fun because they were just yelling at each other, and Colton like tried to go for it, and then he just ditched them both. That's what that I was... like the best about it. Because in Bachelor's, you Pat, haven't watched any of I, it. That's not true. I saw, completely saw that scene. I totally you saw... didn't. Come I on. I talked to you about it on the show. You didn't watch that scene. <laughs> Get out of here. I His 100% wife watches. He watches does work with you. while he watches. So, but he's, all right. So yeah. as, as he <laughs> tunes into some other wow. show, and, I, and this is a different version of Josh McCuga. <laughs> so the thing I like best about that scene was the fact that they both are getting into this fight the entire episode during, and, and Colton comes over. They sit him down, and he's just watching. Most bachelors and bachelorettes in the past. You love how direct he was. Yeah, we yeah, talked about this on the show. They're gonna have a conversation yeah. about like, okay, guys, if it's you, you're you're a nice guy. You're trying to you're trying to figure out, guys. Okay, let's let, let's figure this out. He's just like, fuck this, and he gets up, leaves. The one girl goes to hold his hand. He goes, nope, I'm gone. Don't don't even touch me. I'm out of here. And doesn't try to play the I'm the bachelor nice guy. Mm-hmm. He plays like you don't see that often because a lot of times producers won't let you do it. Yeah, because they don't want to. They don't want you portrayed. to look like an asshole, right? But I th- that's why At we that like point, Colton. It was just it was just bickering. So he was like, he's done. And I'm gone. He's done with it. See, we like this season because we like the, the idea that there's a lot of controversy surrounding the lead people, like the, Nicole and Onyeka. They're fight whatever because no you know they're not going to be there Correct. at the end like what, this yeah. past episode with Cassie and Kaylin that was very yeah. interesting to me because it's two girls that right. he could potentially pick that might not I love that you he know, walked into the room and just took the rose and was like you two stay here gave him the know. energy and was like goodbye figure it out yeah, yeah. And that, but that's a, that's a total the producer move a total yeah. but what I'm going to say to you what you are right about yeah. they mention names no clue yeah. what they're saying. <laughs> like that, that yeah. I don't know. I know. Yeah. I remember the scenes. Like you said, all oh, the Latino girl in the black house said, I remember that. Yeah. But like you told me you what their names are. No yeah. idea. I just, I know who's going to win. I can tell you from, I know the way that they shoot the scene. I know the way that they shoot. Yeah. You the, have the insider. You have the insider right. look. It's just the way that they shoot it. They, because they're, they're, right now they're gearing you up. They're gearing up to, to the one who's had no drama and everything too. They're gearing up like she's going to win. She's not going to win. It's going to be the one last night that they, that they set up. They set up that one girl to where, oh my God, there's, there, all these girls are talking shit about her. Oh my God! Like she's gonna go. So Cassie, yes, she's gonna win. She, Why I mean, not Kayla then? Ka- uh, she, they, Kaylin's that's a two face. Yeah, I don't know. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been saying so much smack about her. I'm gonna see her Beef. women. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna see her where if she's if she is eliminated this week. Yeah, yeah. Beef. And she'll be at women tell all. I was kind of bummed about Hannah B. Well, first of all, because I took her in our draft, and so I now I'm out Sing of girls. Gonna... Oh. So Han, I'm out of girls. But I liked Hannah B, and I thought she was putting herself Hannah out there. Hannah B forever. Right? I mean, she should be the Bachelorette because she's I relatable. Agree. She's relatable. She's fun. She's, she's pretty, an idiot. She's fun. She can have depth, as she showed in this episode, yeah. or she can be goofy. Right. And she's like awkward yes. in a perfect yeah, that's relatable what you guys want. way. This, this character who's never had sex in his life and he's just kind of a, he's kind of for the most part but a serious dude. He's lying, right? No. no. Nah. He's a football player in the National Football League and he saved himself? If you met him, you would understand. You'd understand. Do also, we think he's so why, why do you say that? Let me explain no. that. All right, so the first time I ever met Colton, we were doing a recap on Access Live and I was intimidated because it's Colton. He was very popular on The Bachelorette. This a was huge before guy. Paradise. Six, four, right? Big guy, NFL really player. I'm going with Ashley. I was like, Ashley, you don't even look at this guy. <laughs> 
And then I met him, and I remember having this overwhelming feeling of confidence. Right. I, I know that sounds horrible, I but mean. I don't mean it in a bad way. I was expecting to really feel he's inferior. Not al- he's not an alpha. No, and I sat, I stood next to him, sat next to him. I was you like, I don't, f- I don't, I don't, I shouldn't feel as confident as I do. Like right. I feel like I'm, I'm okay with this guy. Like yeah. he's. And he's a nice guy. And he's a really nice guy. So that was the moment when I was like, there is something different about him. Yeah. He's also Would a you cold... say off? Something off? Not off, but just like, if so, usually I'm an insecure guy at times. So when I meet ex-football players who are 6'2", very charming, you handsome. throw her in the trunk. I'm like, Ashley, yeah. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you are not allowed to look at this human being. And when I met him, <laughs> I was just more like, I, I, I'm on par with this guy. I feel good about myself. When, and I, that doesn't usually happen. Ashley. When I, well, when I met him a couple times in, uh, I was also like, okay, I get like, you know, it's kind of weird. Sometimes I'll get kind of nervous about the new popular kids because it's like, oh, I'm just like the senior and you guys are like the really hot freshman <laughs> and like, you know, whatever. And I'm like totally not in, like, I don't have the spotlight on me and all that stuff. So I'll get like a little nervous. And like, of course, the first time, you know, I meet everybody from the new cast, I get a little nervous because I want them to like me. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then, Makes sense. but then, um, like the second time we were at Access, and I just like went into his his dressing room, and I was like, "Okay, let's talk." And then, like, he's just so appropriate, uh, approachable, and yeah. comfortable to talk to. You think he's like a, a, a movie star? You just think he treat, treats himself as an because sometimes the Bachelor or Bachelorette frame can get to people's head. <laughs> Ari. And <laughs> all of them, but I mean a lot, a lot of them. Do would you say that you mm. have, has success got to his head? It's Colton's, yeah. Not that we've seen. Okay. He's very... Doesn't seem like it. Let's no, be honest. Very he hasn't looked at any girl the same way he looked at Ben Higgins on Monday night. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. That Which was pretty one... funny seeing that on Twitter. And, this, and, and I don't know if you guys... This is what we said about you guys last week, or two weeks ago. And we talked about how you nat- naturally... You can, you can tell that you guys do this a lot. You have your own podcast. very popular. You're, you're comfortable on the microphones. There are some people that are ex-contestants that have no business doing what, what you and what we do. Like there was... During that special, they cut to you, you guys. You guys were great. And I felt Thank like... You. Yeah. I felt like I was watching, like, you know, you could have been in, in the middle of Times Square doing it. And I was like, okay, I'm watching, I'm intrigued. Then you cut to the two guys in the living room. Ah, da, da, da! Yeah. Ah! Really? This guy! Oh! <laughs> I thought they were all good. And he's like, oh, Wait, Ashley, Christian, quit being you're diplomatic. Contestants, or what so are you they, talking so they about? So they do, they yeah. do this uh, in the season premiere, they, they cut back and forth to, like, there was like four teams or three or four teams that would be with fans as the premiere happened. And they would, and they had a pod. They did like a New Year's Eve thing. Where it was like, let's check in. We yeah, were in yeah, yeah, Park yeah. City, oh, Utah. Oh, I have friends that were part yeah, so of that. So they had a pod, yeah. and they cut to these and guys. Like a hot it might tub, be right? really, yeah, yeah they, that yeah. happened too. And there was these nice guys. I'm sure they're nice guys. I don't know, but they were trying to interview. The one guy was talking over the other guy, and then went back to the other guy, and he's trying to interview. I'm here with Sally. Oh, oh! All right, and Harrison's like, let's get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Back to Jared and Ashley because yeah. he's so good at his job. Oh my god, oh, yeah. he's unbelievable. He's great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he yeah. is the proest of the pros. Yeah, there's just well, he's been people. doing it for 19 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he oh was great god. from day one. I mean, I used to watch the show. I watched day one. He right. was always the man. Yeah, he was. Like, but he's great effortless. At it. But look, the other thing, reason that why they're here and why they're so good at what they do is last time they were here, they Ooh. grilled us on everything because Ashley has a lot of questions. Like she said, she went inside of the the dressing room. And just grilled. I didn't Imagine. grill. Or like I was like, let's talk about what actually went down in paradise. Yeah, but I, I what grill. But the thing, my wife does that. My, if you, if you come over to my place, my wife can get information out of anybody. Like she just sits down, likes to have, she just likes to have conversations. She, I know nothing about my friends. I know nothing. Like, that's a man thing. I just know it's nothing. It's so crazy. Him and Ellis will know nothing about each other. They're best no. friends. Yeah. I mean, but it's like that. What my wife said, she's like, she's asked me something about like uh, Makuga recently with his wife and the, what they were doing. I was like, I, I don't. I don't Pry? It's not my business. I'm mean, like, well, don't you want to know that about your about your friends? I was like, I don't need to. I my see him every day, and I and we hang out. We have good conversations. We laugh. He we hang out. What does he know about me? I mean, come on. What's the deal? <laughs> what's the deal? What's going on with Makuga? <laughs> Is he married? Is he single? I mean, what's happening now? He's married. My mom has the same conversation with my dad. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how do you not ask that? Yeah. I, I don't know anything about these people. <laughs> uh, it is crazy how you have certain friends that you have really deep, like intimate conversations with, and then other, like my best friends, like Tanner from the show. Yeah, I, I don't ask about his personal life. Yeah, well, I know you. so little about Tanner's family and how he grew up. It's like yeah. unreal. I know he's and from you know Pittsburgh. Everything. I know he's from Pittsburgh I say it all because the time. he asked everybody that's in here about Pittsburgh. If he wasn't for that, I don't. I don't think I've ever talked to him once about Pittsburgh. True. Roxy, true. same thing. I had an hour long conversation because it was good for ratings. And what about? And what about? <laughs> it did where my well. Yeah. It did 
do really well. And Riley, Riley's from the OC. Riley's the one guy but like. The, yeah. But yes, the, do you know the specific town or yeah? OC no is, fucking is fi- idea. Yeah. Tustin, yeah, exactly. No. I have a great question now. Yeah. Right, here, in the go. midst of this conversation, here we go. Go. so Jared and I argue about this sometimes. I feel it's, it's like kind of like two parts. So I have this one friend who truly wants me to ask her, "How are you?" Like she's one of my best friends, oh. a bridesmaid, but. I can, a for, or for me, Do we care? For me in my best like, for me and my best friends, I and how it's been like my whole life, I feel like I don't have to ask how you are. I don't have to like ask that initial question. You'll just if you feel the need to express what you're going through, you'll just come to me. Mm-hmm. She wants me to like check in on her and be like how are you? I completely agree with her. Whoa. You do? 1,000%. Yeah, I'm not. You, no. that, you have to ask your friends how Every doing. time? No, not every time, but you, every once in a while. Here, hey, how are you doing? Here's the reason why. For example, Riley obviously has been going through some stuff over yeah. the last two years. Of course I say to her, how are you doing? Yeah, how you don't you wait for him yeah. to come to you and no, say. That's a, that's, it, like, that's a different situation. Yeah. What, n- well, I think you're saying if she's going through something, she should say going it to you. But not person. necessarily going through something, just like on like a weekly basis. A weekly like, basis. How are you? No, not right. on a weekly that, basis. That's what, that's what she's saying. She's saying like yeah, all like through the text. time. Yeah, like through text. How's it going? And no, I'm like, a, mm, yeah. you this is where just my app me. comes in. I have What's this app, app idea. What is it? Okay. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. Okay, I won't. Unless you think it sucks. <laughs> it's not yeah. going to be great. I can right. already. It's an app. Oh, my God. It's an God. app that schedules out texts asking how your friends are, how they are. Look I mean, that's part of it. Slap, <laughs> slap in the face. He's got great ideas, and you can tell when a good one's coming and when not a great one. Well, I've pitched this app to many a people, and they've all thought it was pretty damn good. Okay, so okay. Well, go let me ask yourself, you guys Roxy. another question, too. <laughs> sure. With your significant other or whoever you live with, do you yeah. say hi to every I time they walk through the door? Yes. No. No. Uh, her. So hi. we can talk about this. Yeah, her yeah. sister, Lauren, lives with us. who lives with us. She. How long is that going to happen? Until we're married. Okay. <laughs> Right. Jared doesn't believe it, but like my dad will even pay for her apartment for a couple months if need be. Your dad just got thrown. Up. Literally, they've yeah. been looking at apartments across the street. I'm like, why is he? Why is your yeah. dad going to pay three thousand dollars for her to live there when she lives thirty feet away? Is it driving just, you crazy? Be honest. Have no, it's man? not. The only thing that's driving me crazy is that there there is she no keeps spot that is mine. Sorry, is that so, what? I couldn't hear. There's just no spot that's mine. So it'd be nice to have a little like room. Like a parking like, spot? No, no, in the apartment. In the apartment. Like his dresser. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a parking spot either. Where do you watch your your shit? Where do you watch your shows? In the the glam room, dude. So that's what's bad. We dude. want him to have a man cave in her room, and my glam. Yeah. Right now, my glam room is now part her his man cave. Yeah, well, my which Xbox is like, in there. Uh, look, I, I've known you now. I've known you now over two years. Over two, I, I gotta tell you, get you, a storage you, space. You know, <laughs> first of all, you go fu- to a fucking closet. You, do something, bro. You're, you're full of shit. It's driving you crazy. It would yeah. drive me bananas. It's not driving no me insane. Way. It's just like it's one of those things I just wish I had that I know I'll have at some point. So it's yeah. a space thing because he truly. It's like right. his sister. Too. You know there's like, a way. Yeah, you know there's a way out. Totally. You know there is a way out. Yeah. It's not, you're not. You're not. And it has nothing to do with your sister. It's the fact that anytime you live with three people, and and it's your your significant other, and then someone else. Doesn't matter. It could be yeah. whoever it is. It could be your brother, your sister. Totally. It's it's a pain in the fucking ass after yeah. a while. Yeah, I get it. But where I was going with that is she feels like I don't want to live with her anymore because apparently when she comes in the door, I don't say hi anymore. Oh. Which is a comfortability thing. No, I think that's weird. Also, yeah, I'm not gonna be like, hey, I think you uh, should hi. say hi. Yes, yeah, see, well, somebody just walked into a room. This is, yeah, I'm gonna. Go, I'm yeah. on more on Roxy's side in this one because what I Anything. started with. I thought you meant to, to to her because you see her every day. Like my wife, I'll say, I, you know, I see Lauren every in. day. Yeah, but it's different. You're not. I guess I need to put like more effort. You're gonna well, see her for the rest. Of- we say hi when we walk into the apartment. Yeah, but it's not like hey, it's babe. not. It's, if yeah. it makes her happier, it's literally one second. I didn't hi. know though. Yeah. I didn't know until so Ashley came do. up to me. Was like, I would do we were talking treaty. about it. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. if you I can, agree. Now if you I know. can give that. Like she could be asking a big ask, and instead she's asking for hello. That's so. What about a slight nod? Does a slight nod? But that's what I'm saying. Like I, sometimes I just like she'll walk, like yeah. Ashley or Lauren will walk through the door and I'll kind of like mm-hmm. start a conversation with them instead of being like oh hey what's up it was just kind of like it would be like hey did you do this earlier because yeah. I'm just there think, at that comfort I, level I think you lost this one Jared if I were to walk in the apartment <laughs> and I didn't say hey babe you would be like what's wrong sometimes you don't sometimes you walk in and you're like have the dogs gone out. <laughs> Yeah, it's just true. You well, got, I acknowledge your presence. <laughs> yeah, Jared, I got to tell you. This is getting interesting. You, you got to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pick your fights here, buddy. Yeah. Okay, wait. <laughs> so, it's like the easiest yeah, thing. Yeah, this is an easy one. On the same topic of how are you, mm-hmm. um, oh, how, how are you? I, uh, Jared and I disagree on this. Uh-oh. So, 
So if, far, we're one and one here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I still was with, the fr- I was with the friend, and I'm I'm, uh, okay. I'm still with the friend, and I'm still with the high. Oh. If you're texting somebody and you have to ask them a question, if like you know, if the, the, the reason for the text is you want to ask them something, right, right. do you butter them up and go, yes. hey, oh, ask them for a favor, you're saying. how are you, how are you doing, and then all of a sudden ask the question when you know it was so contrived that you asked all the initial pleasantries? Yes, yes, I do. I would prefer, I personally would prefer somebody to just be like, hey, can you do this for me? Give and me a ride to the airport. Like yeah. that type stuff. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm a Although butter. But this I'm is, a butter this is out of context as well because what, the situation we're talking about was a friend that we haven't talked to in a while right. that we needed to ask them to do something. So she was like, I'm just going to ask them to do it. How big and of a favor like, are we talking about? Yeah, what yeah, kind of favor? DJ my was, wedding or? Uh, posting something pretty yeah. much. Oh, okay. And so we didn't, I was like, you got to just talk to them. They are your friends. Just be like, yeah. hey, how's everything? How's 100%. this? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. And like, by the way, I was gonna, I need to ask you something. Doesn't I need that to ask you a favor. Doesn't that seem fake to you? No, no like, I don't. I'm with Jared on this one. Yeah, I'm on Jared Here's a perfect example. All right, so like, same thing. We, The three of us had a lunch. We had a lunch and we sat down and we, we, we talked about certain things. And after was that this morning? No, that was oh. about a couple months ago. Yeah, and it was the same thing. It was like, look, we were talked about because Jared has become a, a, a really if, whether he's a big personality in the Schmodown or on Collider, uh, on Collider Movie Talk and now Collider Live. And you have been on uh, whether it's Schmodown, whatever. I was like, okay. They've been involved a lot more, and I wanted to talk about them doing this show more, too. And I said the same thing. It was similar to what you guys just talked about as far as posting and stuff, too. But it took a while before I said, hey, by the way, because you got to feel the rhythm out of, yeah. of the conversation, I think. It's like, hello, how's, how's it going? What's hello. happening? Yes. What's going on in your yeah. life? Uh, if I haven't seen you in a while, like, it's, If same you're thing. on the receiving end of a text that's like, hey, will you post this? Right. What I'm thinking is they couldn't have even asked how I'm doing. Right. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, All right. Yeah. All right. It's yeah. good for me to know. What, I, what I love about God's I hear what you're spoken. saying about <laughs> the fakeness, though. I yeah. hear what yeah, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, like, oh, you only care about me when you have to ask something? That's what I think. I see the concern there, but I think I think you're asking. I think but it's it's more of a kind of a nice thing to do. But what I've loved about this so far is they're working out their problems through us. Yeah. 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 I like this that. is collider therapy. I do, yeah. I, I, I do like that. I do like that twist. I do like that twist. Um, well, the last oh, time they were I here. I see what you were doing. That was for the sound drop, right? He, I'm not going to give him shit, though, anymore. Oh. Ever again. You know why? Because he's amazing? I was in there watching because I got here. I was supposed to be. I thought I was going to be here at 11. I got here at like 1030. And I didn't want to fuck you guys up. So I stayed in there. And I watched Cody. So Cody does the sound drops in there. And it's like watching a really good DJ at like tomorrow yeah. or something, right? And he's like, he is just, he, and it's not easy. It's not like a big soundboard with all the things. He's got one list with all the things, and he's and he's moving through, and he hits it. So if he misses a drop, you're never going to hear me give him shit ever. Again. Yo, <laughs> yo, <show>. Nice, <laughs> yeah, yo. ever. So, which reminds me, so I want to ask you guys. We th- so the fans had done a bunch of songs for us, and <laughs> there were there were some really good ones. I'm gonna we'll play. Cody, do you have three of them? Um, give me a couple minutes. I All right, find them. because I would like to play them. I want to know your personal opinions of what you thought the best song was out of the three mm-hmm. songs. That there's about seven songs. We'll play three okay. of them. Mm-hmm. I think we'll play a Rose Compoyo. Yeah, we'll play um, the we'll, punk one. We'll play the Chicken and Beer. Yeah, and we'll mm-hmm. play. Uh, and we'll play. We can play. Actually, you know, you just bring up that guy's that guy's uh, account. You probably yeah. get all three of them. Um, so the last time right. you guys were here, you, you you gave Roxy some dating advice. Oh yeah, yeah. that what was, was the dating it, advice. It worked really well. What was really? the advice? Recap, See, recap the dating <laughs> advice <laughs> and and tell us what it is. And then we'll play the song. I was second. being facetious. We're definitely no longer uh, together. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, you but, are. but honestly, that was kind of your advice. So what yeah. was the advice? Um, I, I don't quite remember. Oh. You would have to listen to the episode. But okay. it I think was, it was given ultimatum. It, right? it was kind of like um, you know. Crap or get off the pot advice, and I had to get off the pot. Mm. Yeah. So I did, at least for now. Right. I needed yeah. some. I needed some space. Are so you happier moved. because of it? I think I'm working towards happiness. Is that like a, a contrived answer? It's not like a at good all. Podcast. Yeah. 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 Working, working towards, towards happiness. happiness. Yeah. Um, it's really hard when you're with somebody with for that long. Yeah. 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 Is it over four years? You, about four. Yeah. Was it really? So I mean, yeah, it was a long time. Wow. It was a long time. Um, and so I moved out. And yeah, we, and we still work together, and like he's awesome, and who knows right. about it's that? It's a good on, relationship. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it it always will always be able to be okay, right. uh, but it was just not working in the moment. Have you gone on other dates since? Yeah, I have. I have. Ooh. How's that going? Uh, See, that's why like Ashley needs to be here more often. No, yeah. I I suck at it because like I went out with a guy that is a bunch of times who's legitimately perfect, like a saint, Uh-oh. and I. 
I couldn't care less. Oh, that's right. Really? I couldn't. Yeah, there's nothing wrong I with that. But he's still, but he's still, still rebound. Yeah, but I feel phase. like a, I feel like a dick because. Are you comparing him to? No, I'm not comparing him to anybody. I just am. <clears throat> I'm in love, so it yeah. doesn't matter who I go out with. So it's like a waste of their time and mine. I'm. I try to be practical about it, and so I'm like, okay, until it's not a waste of my time, I don't know if I should be doing. Are that. you still in love with your ex? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't think that so. Just you're goes in away. love with them. You don't love them because there's a difference. What? <laughs> There's a difference between loving someone and being in love with I someone. I think I love him. I'm in love with him. I think all, uh, the, all the right. things. I like him. Yeah, yeah, that will take time to fall out. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah, him yeah. also. It's hard. Yeah, yeah, I like him. So I think, yeah, you don't, yeah. Bre- you're not, you don't end something and you're like, I'm no longer in yeah. love today. This is why relationships that don't break up because someone either cheats, because there's no cheating involved. No. There was no uh, <clears throat> abuse. There was none of that kind of stuff. When relationships don't, when they break up like, Casually, and it's very hard for them to end. And yeah. it's, it's hard. very hard. It's so hard. hard because there's, you know, if somebody cheated on me, I'm the kind of person who's like, That's okay, it. I'm not, I'm not gonna slash your tires, but I'm like, all right, done. no, yeah, no yeah, yeah. thanks. Right. You uh, can hate them. They've given you yeah. a reason right. to hate them. Right. Yeah. Which no is reason to break up with someone right. because Somebody's of that. Just, exactly. What my advice to you going forward is: don't date. I don't think date because I've been on dates when I've been completely mentally obsessed with somebody else, and it just doesn't work. Who was that? Well, Jared was definitely <laughs> one of them. It was the last one. Um, and I think the best thing that's going to happen to you is you just naturally forming a crush in real life. And I don't think you're going to, like, go on a date and sit down with somebody and be like, oh, yeah, like, I could like this person. Like, I think he kind of has Get to evolve that. That. more naturally. I right. kind of agree. I'm not on any of the apps or anything because that's not really my personality. But I was like, okay, if something falls in my lap and then – things just kept falling in my lap so I was trying to go on all these dates and then it was just I'm there and I'm like why the fuck am I here I could be working on right. a podcast or writing my feature or doing well, something like, that matters I like that when, when she got some stuff out of you today that I didn't know about anyone you have not asked Oh, how are you, Roxy? My how are you? Uh, yeah. How are Thank you, you right. so much. Let's play. Let's, are we going to play oh, a few songs? I want to continue that conversation. We are. We're going to get back to it. We're going to get back to it. I, I do want to get a couple because I want to. I want to get your opinion on which songs out of these songs are the best. Which one are we playing for first here? Okay, let's let's go with this one. Let's start with the. the yeah, let's eyes. go with that one. What's going on back there? Though? I don't know. All right, here we go. So let's, all right, thank you. You'll never give him shit again. Here we go. I can't. No, that last one that you just had, that, that one with the clips. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're doing. What's you're the doing. song for? All right, so we did a, um, so w- last week we, there was this, we posted this clip and there were some comments. In just the, being idiots. Yeah, and there were some comments in, in the chat room Legit. that said like, I like Christian trying to bring this stuff like VH1. This is, just cla- this is just clickbait. The only reason they're doing this is clickbait. And it clearly wasn't. And we just went in this whole rant and started laughing about it and the fans made a bunch of songs to it. So I want to get your opinions on which songs you think are the best. Here, here's right. here's one. Here you go. And you look at the video. Up there too. This one's intense. Yeah. I don't think Ashley's going to be a fan yeah. of this one. She's not a fan. I can already see her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. There is that. All right, so let's yeah. let's do a Rose Compoyo. You'll like this better. Uh, yeah, a Rose Compoyo. So that was the, the death metal version. That's not a Rose Compoyo. Oh, yeah, okay, so here we go. Uh, a Rose Compoyo is the, is the next one. Mojito. Right. I always so, love a little Latino music. All right, so there's that's number two. All right, so She's now, let's, notes let, on yeah, it. let's put on. Yes, Ashley. Let, let's no, put on, no, no, I'm writing notes on something else. Okay, <laughs> let's let's put on uh, chicken and beer. This is the best. Yeah, let's let's see. So far, so, yeah. all right, here we go. So that's yeah, a a click How about David B's song? Give David B's you know song. What? A Rose Con Pollo sat better with me today. Oh, me too. Yeah. 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 Con Pollo I've, so I've liked chicken beer better most days, but today, a Rose Con Pollo. All right. Is this, now this is David B's version. This is the last one. 
This is an original song put together just for clickbait. This is when I tore my neck muscle trying yeah. air drumming. Now I'm a little bit subdued now. Now it matches both of your knees. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this one's the best. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah. This could have been on the radio in the 90s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, this one. Yeah, this is far and beyond. Yeah. Like, I totally see this on the radio being like, and you OAR. just heard all the small things so by good. Blink 182. <laughs> and up next, the brand new hit, Clickbait <laughs> by David B. Clickbait. <laughs> 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 it's so good. It's so good. That's really we, don't, good. we don't give this one enough love. Yeah, we don't give this one this enough love. This one's so good, but we're all narcissistic, and it's not it our, have voices, our voices. So that's exactly right. It's, it's exactly right. obvious. It, it is the best good. one. We still inspired like a Blink 182 single. I yeah. mean, this is awesome. Really this would have been at like Van's Warp tour. Yeah, yeah. Was <laughs> it's so good. All right, all right. You just spoke that. to me. I might yeah. have that song stuck in my head after that. I was doing. I mean, the three of them between that one, Arroz con Pollo, and then Chicken and Beer. Chicken and Beer. People sing in the office all the time. Chicken and Beer. Chicken I wake up with beer. it chicken in my and head. Really? And yeah. everything I post, people just comment the yeah. chicken and the beer the emoji <laughs> now and all everything. All right, so I got a note here during the, the songs. Oh, um, no. And there is, there's some, and I'm going to read the actual note because the note, the note is, is amazing. And, <laughs> and it's Ashley who says, I must talk about Bradley Cooper and Gaga after she broke up with fiance. What is that all about? Tell me. Okay, so if you guys know don't know. I know nothing. I don't, you know. don't know. I don't follow. I don't know. Either. Oh my God! John Snow is okay. talking. Ashley, well. I <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah. All right, we only have like ten minutes, so I'm stressed. Don't worry, I'm gonna be go able to like fit all this in. Oh, okay, so you guys, uh -huh. you know the chemistry between them, and like how much they do really love each other, and how I really think it's it's beyond platonic. But wait, but isn't does he, everybody isn't here he agree? Married? Isn't he married? No, he's no. not married. He's not even engaged. He's dating oh. the most beautiful the woman on the planet. That is true, and just the mother of his child. You yeah, know? Right, 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 right. I know I'm not supposed to hope that they break up or anything because you want Lady child Gaga to be with Bradley Cooper. What? More than anything, <laughs> no, like yeah. second to me yeah. and Jared, you are like really out of the loop here. You know this is what America is rooting for. Fuck really? Uh, nah. Really? What? Nah. No. Are uh, you guys? I am now that. I am that girl totally who's engaged, disaster. totally settled, yeah. Yeah. and now is completely infatuated with two other people getting. You together. and my wife should host a podcast from like our bedroom where you just yell at me <laughs> yeah. about things. Who like, cares? Do you know they're dating? I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, this is what? how this is how out of the loop I am. I didn't know this. I'm sure you do. I had no idea about this. And tell me if this is true or false, because maybe I'm just making this shit up. I saw it as I'm getting medicine for the kids or something. I see the, the tabloids. How much of this is true? I have no idea. So we know that Angelina Jolie was with uh, Brad Pitt and she took him from Aniston, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then Aniston started. Was, you didn't know that they're back together. Oh, wait, Pitt. wait, wait. Not just that. Je that, that Thoreau. Was with uh, Aniston. Aniston. Yeah. You then didn't know that. I I did. What I did. <laughs> let me finish. So the, what what I did not know was that first of all, went that Brad Pitt went back with with Aniston. Well, only at her birthday party so far. Uh, all right, and then <laughs> there was rumors that, that that Angelina Jolie is now trying to get Justin Thoreau. No, I. That, what that, a that's what I saw. Oh, good. Lord. That's is that why just I a, haven't seen. Is that a twist? That's a tabloid that. twist. Huh? All right, that's a tabloid I don't think twist. Angelina yeah. would do that. All right, that's what I heard. I heard. So that, Wait, that, that was like that's and Aniston are back together. Yes. No, I wouldn't say back together. Did you see? more than just the birthday party? Well, I don't know what's happening. Only them, there was like friends of friends commenting on the yeah. fact that they think this might be the real ending for them, but well, no see, here's the thing. If you watch, What a move. If you <laughs> watch the Van Damme interview, you know that after dating and banging women all over the world because that's what happens, and you marry five times, you eventually come back to your first wife because yeah, she was the back. angel right. that you needed in your life. Well, there's a question for you. I actually for you. think he went back to the third one. Right, the f not the fifth. I think there's just one in between. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, well, there's a big question that he has for you, Van Damn, did you know that? Oh, what is it? You want some cookies? I said yes. Okay. You want a glass of milk? I said yes. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah. okay you said yeah. Well, uh, you know that Brad was supposedly seeing Charlize Theron for a little while, too. No, Whoa. see, I don't what pay attention. Twist? I don't pay Wait, attention to any of this. Let me ask you, do you think it's realistic? Do you think it might actually happen that Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga end up together? 
or you just want that? Let me ask that? you a serious yeah. question. Up together might be a little intense, but I would just be so satisfied with them being romantic. Because of the do you movie? think they already have hooked up? Yeah, I do. Did really? you love the movie? So, so I don't want to like rat out my. Oh. It's not a source at all. Oh. But Remember I have, when McAdams wait, 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 and Gosling wait, wait. were dating? That didn't make sense to me. That they made so only, much sense. What do you mean? What's the source? What's the source? Wait, what's the what's the source? The source? Oh, it's no source. Okay, oh. so I was at Access Hollywood, and we were just talking in the makeup room, which you know, like it's kind of like a. It's, it's, club. it's like an intelligent it's makeup like room. You know, it's, like it's got like a, you got a little stuff in there because people they are really in the loop. And the theory that was come up with that came, was that came up mm -hmm. was that three years ago, before he had the kid with Irina, that possibly he and Gaga did hook up during the filming of Star Is Born because that filmed three years ago. Yeah, yeah. this seems like and fantasy then, fiction. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So then <laughs> they um, they hooked up because he wasn't like in too deep with Irina. No kid, mm. you know, and then she, then they had the kid, and then he was like, "Okay, wait, I gotta be loyal." And then Lady Gaga was like, "Okay, well, I met this guy and I like him too." And now she was like, "I don't like him as much as yeah, Lily Bradley." This, this sounds now, like me writing a Darth uh, Bane. We did. It is yeah. a fan no. fiction. You're yeah. right. But you're right. It's a fan yeah, fiction. Yeah. Are, My are, bad. I shouldn't say anything. I mean, this is this is. Com aren't you like extremely annoyed that every time they go to Gaga, she's like. Right. I mean, she wins. She wins. I mean, she knows she's gonna no, win. Even, I, no, even I'm when she's not winning, it's she's just always it's like, no, her, no, no. She's living her actual dream. Like it's kind of beautiful. Oh, yeah. And I'm not I just annoyed. Find it and so you annoying. heartless animal. It's just you so find annoying. It annoying. No, no, There's it's not. Not when she wins. For herself more than God. Not yeah. when she wins. When she wins, go ahead and cry. I don't when care. When she's getting a bagel, win. you're saying. No, like every time they cut her in the crowd, it could have been like up for cinematography, and she's like. I just feel like when you when you wanted something your whole life, when you wanted something, you want somebody to win for cinematography. No, no, you wanted to be part of this industry. You wanted to be creating for your whole life. You've never wanted anything more, and you're living right. your so dreams. So you don't think it's legit? You think it's, it's, always, you think it's fabricated? Yes. I don't think it's fabricated. Okay. No, it's not. It I think she's literally 100%. on cloud nine. If like, you've ever been it. around that human being, it, it's fabrication. Well, have you been around her? Yes. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. Yes. Really? Dude, back in the day. Oh. At back Air in how long okay, ago? She Last performed week. at Area oh. back in the day. And I was What's her area? It was a club back in the day on La Cienega. In LA? Okay. I, in LA. I, I, okay. I, yeah, Robertson, wasn't it? Uh, it was on La Cienega and like... Uh, oh, yes, yes. I know it's by yes, Roger yes, Room. Yes, yes. It's now it's like Nightingale or something. Yeah, it's always yeah, been a club. Yeah. She came to perform. This is right before she kind of blew up, right? And she and they actually it was on that show, The Hills or whatever, right? So I was working at Area, and I was part of like the bartender kind of crew that had to be her handler. I've never been treated worse what? by a human being that, that was, was nobody right. than Lady Gaga. Wow, really? <laughs> so, so you have a vendetta. So you've had a, vendetta had a little bit of a years. beef. There's a beef. But don't you think at that time she maybe wore that she meat was. Dress, I was, it was like, appropriate. Please, I got beef. But maybe yeah. she was so she. bitter at the time and she wasn't living her dream, and now she honestly has found happiness. All right. So, the two sides of the court. All right, before we go, because we do have to leave here too, I want to. <laughs> can I ask the question? I'd like to try to ask the question. That's, all right, thank you. All right, I, I'm going to play a clip from a movie. Mm -hmm. This is from a, an early 80s film. And I want to see oh, if oh, yeah, I want to see if they can get it. Like early eighties. I want to see. Do you th do you think which clip are you going right, to play? Say, we're going to we're going to play the from the beginning. Okay. Let's we'll play a beginning clip, and you got to guess what it's from. All right, you ready? Both whoever gets it first is the winner, and I know you guys compete with each other, so let's see who wins. All right. When it goldfish here. When it goldfish here. Uh, do you, you know what it is, right? No, right. I've seen it all over Collider Live. <laughs> <laughs> Do you I know what it like is? It's an 80s movie, and that's like a 2002 <laughs> song that it's set to. <laughs> you can't remember the name of it? No. Ashley, what? you want to guess? No. Oh, I'm right, so play, 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 the, play the romantic it's scene. It's not an early 80s movie. Wait, wait. Play the romantic <laughs> scene on the beach. Uh, okay, give me a second. Here we go. Oh, I just Fine. need to Here let you, you know that I think we last time I said that I'm really, I'm really good at. Uh, film times. Like yes. If you tell me the the movie, I will come up with the year, and oh. we play this game. So yeah. it, you better be accurate about the year. Or on let's this. say, let's say, so okay. let's go. Let's play. Scott let's play. Nance over here. Wait, romantic. I don't, put, I don't put, think put, that will be your problem. Put the that. put the romantic beach scene. Okay. When it goldfish here. When it goldfish here. You guys are fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and it's from Little Bobby and the Juice. You didn't want to show oh, them the well, picture and have it's them the guess. It's the goldfish. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's just you know, fucking with you. It's yeah, every, he's oh, just I, I do it. I do it to every single person yeah. that comes on the show, and, uh, except yeah. for Andy. How did you not know that? Then? But the accurate I, part I, was the '80s. That yeah, is the yeah. early okay. '80s. Yeah. So. so anyway, well, thank you for pl playing along. Thank you for coming back. Oh, and guys, once again, you want to play that again? Lucy and Clark, Lucy and Clark. Make sure you get that. And you got. And you have your podcast. Tell us where we can find your podcast. It's on iHeartRadio. It's the Almost Like Us podcast. We talk more Bachelor. And then if you just want some girl talk, Roxy, you should come on our podcast sometime. Oh, yeah. It's called and I Don't Get It. I need it. You and do. I also don't she get it. You should absolutely go on that show. You should. There you go. All right, guys. So thank hey, you. Hey, what about for Jared? 
Oh, I host a Dope. podcast on our hair radio called Help I Suck at Dating. So you can check that out too. Please if do you that. You feel like you suck at dating, which yeah. you probably don't. So I, I need all of these things. Okay, fine. Sign me up. Sign me up. Yeah. Um, and then check us out, guys, tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow and on Friday. Once again, get those tickets. March 23rd for the free for all. They're going to be 40 competitors, 700 people in that audience. Let's get it packed. So check that out at theschmodownlive.com. Subscribe to Collider Live just by going to Collider Video. Go and leave us a, a comment on the podcast, Apple Podcast. Go to Spotify, whatever you want to do. Go and subscribe and keep the show going. We'll see you tomorrow. Collider Live.